And here we go. Did it answer my question? I'll, I'll answer your question right now. The answer okay. is, yeah. uh, you can get your jobs at the start of this, at, at the end of this session coming up. Okay, but did we get to do the, the sanctuary downtime stuff? Yeah, you did them. You you unlocked the pathways. And when you unlock the pathways, you, you can... Count it? I meant the ones like Foster New Life and Cooking with Osgord. Right? Not yet. Okay. Those are starting at the end of this session. Because I was about to say... I wanted to do I wanted to do the foster new life to get proficiencies. I don't wanna I don't wanna do them all yet until the whole party is in the sanctuary and then one once, once everyone's in there we can start uh we can start mm -hmm. doing that. Oscorp sounds like a fucking amazing food network show. <laughs> it's like uh Yeah, that should be if radios exist ever exist within the next few years of Oscorp being alive, he should start a cooking uh cooking radio show. Oh dude. You just gave me a fucking idea. <laughs> oh, I got 14 out of 15 points on this assignment. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't give a shit about references. Sierra bro? Sierra, Sierra, how do you pronounce his name, Nicky? Uh, Sabro. Sabro? Okay. Sabra. I need to remember that. Sabro is gonna Shabra. be my bro. Sabro? <laughs> we're, we're playing some D&D. &D. Hey. Hey, speaking Shabra. of D&D. &D, oh. It's time. How are we all doing? Hey. Doing all right. Doing all right. Um, yeah. Spectacular. Been a, been a while. Sorry, guys. It's been a long while, but it's we been have two years. It's been yeah. It's, it's been, been two years. years uh, the it's world. Been years. The world. The world's been. The world's a different place. Uh, ever Who since. People, I don't know you. I met you just once, yeah, last, like five years time, ago. Last time we played, we weren't uh, almost being plunged into another world war. But now we are. But why don't Why don't we play some D and D? To make it up, and we can look at the we can look at the funny gif, the funny the funny gif that's right above right below the oh chat God, of, that <laughs> of the baby of the baby schmoovin. I hate it. I think I think I that I think that's all you good for us. You can't see me, but in real life, I am now doing that dance. Boss Baby Three looks amazing. <laughs> Boss this, Baby Three looks fucking great. This is just the this is just the promo for Boss Baby where they all play D and D together. Uh yeah. Anyways. But welcome to session two, I think, of Next Generation. It's been a long time coming, but finally mm -hmm. some fucking time to play some D and D. About, about damn time. Are cursed. About damn time. Uh, let me let me just yeah. let me just make this image a little bit bigger. Boom. So that way I look. I, I I'm not super small. Oh yeah, I, our, our, our things don't light up anymore. I hope, yeah, I, I, it, that, uh, that program isn't really at the point yet where it's good for D&D &D streams, especially mm. people with, especially people with a bunch of different player characters. Mm -hmm. Regardless, mm -hmm. it's time to play some Danda. Who would like to recap what you guys did Donda. during downtime? Danda? Danda, Danda? Danda? Donda? Honestly, I could probably take a crack at it for once. All right. How about you do that, Nan? Um, yeah, mm. so uh, last time we all got uh, introduced, we woke up at the, uh, the sanctuary. We all did a, a little bit of things, I believe. Um, we did a bit of reading. We talked with Ophelia and what the fuck's his name? The teacher dude? Uh, Miro? 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 Uh, and they talked about how it's going to be like the school year starting soon and... How we were gonna go to the market to like pick up some little trinkets and stuff and i think during all of that uh toa also tried to hijack the uh janitor who is literally a robot mm -hmm. <laughs> uh then i don't remember if anything else notable happened there then um we mm -hmm. i met a circus rabbit that's about it yeah, we, we went off to the market and we each got like a little event uh, where we got a trinket. Um, as Nikki said, uh, Iku, uh, Echo, Echo, met a, Echo, Echo met a circus rabbit. Echo that... met a circus rabbit. Uh, yes. <laughs> I believe Toa got uh, boots from a bl old blind man. Uh, I got like a sneak pendant thing from a, a wondering like performer was it a performer i believe i think i think it was I a performer goggles i got cloud goggles I, yeah kobu or amir got some goggles and that was it for the people who were here today 
because uh, Cat is no longer here. But Cat got a little owl uh, pendant, I think. If I remember correctly. Something like and that. And after that, it started raining, and we wanted to go into the sewers, but because of some behind the scenes shit, uh, it was all blocked off, and we had to go back home. And during downtime, we did a few events uh, where we opened up some, some optional roleplay paths, and that's pretty much all we did. And mm -hmm. uh, the reason why you are entering this weird, dingy, abandoned oh, yeah. warehouse is because a couple of hours later, after you guys got home, Ophelia got back battered and bruised. Mm -hmm. And as such, Oz I think it was Osgorth, Miru, and Amanya all left to find out what the fuck happened. And when they came back, there was a little discussion about teaching the kids how to fight. And who better to teach the kids how to fight than their than their role models, the Oni, a gang that a gang that specific motto is to protect the kids, or their specific mo is to protect the kids and keep them safe. Um, I fucking love the Oni. And we'll be meeting these particular Oni today, in just a couple of minutes, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As yeah, we this begin. is why you don't let me do the recap because I miss a bunch of shit. No, nah, I mean you did great. <laughs> As uh, we begin today's session, you guys make your way to the dockyard district. I believe I, I I am I am fumbling. I forget the name of the dockyard district. I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling the ball. The outer it vein. The outer, the outer vein. vein. The you guys make it through the wall out of the piercing into into the outer vein and you walk down. You make a left and you get to this weird looking warehouse that is shaped like an L that is a couple of stories high and has the remnants of an old gondola or a potential plan for a gondola route to be created here. However, Time has not been too kind to the building in the gondola and specifically the paths around the gondola have begun to fall into disrepair. Osgorth will look. This is where the, uh, um, he's British. This is where the Oni are located. So. This is where they moved after they got kicked out. Well, a, a, a little bit like that. Um. Once you turn 18, you're, you're out. You're out of this sanctuary. That's one of Ophelia's rules. And after so, after all the brothers turned 18, they were uh, kicked out and they yeah. scrounged up some money and made their way over here. I didn't think it would be this big. Well, it's nice to see that I'm making the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly kind of cool. Yeah, no, you know, it's got, it's got its own little, uh, aesthetic. It's charm. So many walls! <laughs> <laughs> you love walls now, don't you? I do! They're very, they're a sight where I'm from. <laughs> Pinky just has a very small smile on her face as you say that. Well, I don't, uh, I don't want to take you, uh, I don't want to take your time up too much. I'm pretty sure the doors just open. These seem like the type of people the Oni are. Ricky immediately <laughs> walks up and opens. The door <laughs> opens. Peaks are as uh, as Osgorth kind of goes over to the side here and pokes a little, uh, like pokes on a little button, like kick, clicks it. As uh, he says this, uh, a, a kind of like ringing noise emanates from the top floor, and you hear uh, you hear this. Make sure I got it. Hello? Oh, no, Why the fuck are you here? Who are you? Uh, it, it is Mr. Osgorth. I, I have a couple of kids. I right, let him in. As uh, a later, as a later <laughs> section of the hall opens up. And you enter into the abandoned warehouse. <gasps> Yo. You see, um, cool. you see open, open crates that have been broken into and over time, uh, have begun to turn into makeshift chests. Uh, you see pipes and other types of mechanical machinery. These weapons aren't here. They are stowed away in their <laughs> own, they are stowed away in their own oh. containers. 
But potentially in the if, future they might be opened up and allowed for you to take some. What about if, the cards? If this cat was here. And there are some playing cards. Alright, I'm gonna swipe the playing cards. Alright, you swipe you swipe the playing cards and you add a deck of playing cards to your inventory. Uh any little snakes or bugs or any little fauna. I just added that for you. Any little Thank fauna you. like snakes or bugs, mice. Uh give me a nature check. Okay. Uh nature, nature, nature. Why is nature intelligence? Uh it it appears that it is Ten. way too uh, way too industrial. There might be some rats and there are indications that there are rat scuttle marks around the floor. Uh, as well as the stench of not pleasant odors. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I guess I can't really afford cleaning supplies. You can. Uh, are these, uh, well, what's up? Are these are these mushrooms actually here? Uh, they are. It appears to be some type of plant. A a a exotic golden tree and there's some bread right next to it and it appears that the tree is feeding off the bread is that a fucking like it's a like a carnivorous plant <laughs> almost i don't know you can give me a nature check to find out another fucking nature check that i'm going to fail see because <laughs> it's int uh give me a wisdom check and we'll we'll say it's that's your nature Eleven. Eleven. On an eleven. It is it is in fact a carnivorous plant and it is eating the bread as it gets sustenance from said bread. Uh I wouldn't keep the snake near that. It's a carnivorous plant that could eat him. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I might, might wanna be careful. Gross. I don't know, it's kind of cool. The I'm Oni are, cool. uh. They're different folk. I know the Oni, I miss them. Where are they? And uh, Riki's gonna start uh, looking around. Alrighty. Is this door open? Uh, this door is. Uh, this door is open. It kind of slides Look open around. when you do so. It appears to be a meeting room of some kind, a room that has boarded up windows and couches that don't fit the room. Kind of taken there as if people bought money and just hauled them into the room themselves. And a couple of torn and tattered rugs that make up the main attention and focus of this room. You must be upstairs then. Toa, what you doing? Oi, Oz, give me a boost. Osgorth will get up and lift you with one hand. Right, I'm gonna go on the pipe. Yep. All right. Uh, up here, he's going to reach into his sack and take out his like brushes and paints, and he's just gonna put a tag on this wall. Alrighty. <laughs> Give me. Rather than a D20, roll me a D100. Okay. Sixty-three. What kind of tag do you put on? Uh, it's a teal skull with horns surrounded by flowers. Well, that's cool. Neat. Teal skull with flowers, you said? Teal skull with horns surrounded by flowers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a... Slide back down the pipe. Yeah. There, there's a snack, there's a stack of boxes here, right? Yes. Okay. Can I try climbing the boxes? Yeah, you can. You <laughs> climb up the boxes. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are you going to do up there? I don't know. It just gives me a better vantage point. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to see, really. What do you mean? There's so much here. <laughs> Kobu. Starts walking around the room. Or Amir, I should say. Give me a perception check. Ooh, 15. As your vision still is in in essence starry, 
some things appear to be different in this room for you and specifically this crate here you see the markings of stars on it he's gonna kind of shift over um i want to look through the crate okay as you open up the crate there is a there is a a mess of gold coins gems but particularly as you pull your hand through and kind of like wave through the the weird pieces of copper copper gold and silver coins you come across a black gem that has the inscription of a star on it the star forms a constellation of a clock whoa he's gonna take it up does it only look he like holds that up through his goggles or does it uh like through his that? star sight yes so he holds up the like... the gem Is it just like a rock to us? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It looks like a nice. It looks like a pretty black gem. Oh. Look at this. Nice rock, man. What do you Ooh. mean? It's a rock collector. I, it doesn't look like a rock. It's like. <gasps> Are you one of those guys who gets pet rocks? I used to have a collection of rocks in my place. I never collected them along. rocks. I collected like little. Reads, kind of. Hold on. Wait, n none of you can see this, right? What? It's a rock. No, it's got like stuff on it. I swear. Is that? It, are you sure you didn't hit your head? Earlier? No, no. I get you, man. I get you. I also see things that aren't there. Um. As you do, Toa, give me a perception check. Oh, all right. I see things in my well, dreams, but that's it. When you look at the stars, you immediately get the smell of... Oh, how do I describe this? You get the smell of hope and time. Surprisingly, it smells like cherries. Ah, uh, yeah. Cherries. Smells like the passing of time. And a bit of hope. What are you talking about? Uh, time smells oh, yeah. like cherries. <laughs> I could have sworn I mentioned this last Does time. Does that mean you can like eat time and it'll taste like cherries or? Well, no, no. Like, uh, you know, I, I was born like this, seeing things differently than others. So over time, I've just kind of learned what is associated with other things. So. When something that isn't cherry smells like cherries, I associate it with that, that feeling, if you get what I'm saying. Hmm. Aww. Yeah, it's a bit what's weird. Your, what's your favorite flavor, then? Mmm, <laughs> good question, good question. Uh, <laughs> you know, I like this. I like the smell of rubber for some reason. It's really nice. Wow. Oh, oh me the, too. <laughs> also, you know, when things are a bit chilly, reminds me of my dog. So yeah, like that too. Amir's gonna smell the crystal. It smells faintly of cherries. <laughs> you're, you're right. Who knows? Maybe they were like some spoiled cherries. Oh, I can best. smell. Oh, I can smell them from here. Best to not go rummaging through someone else's personal beans, though. Oh. So you're right. But I'm, I'm oh, sure a black, nice. I'm, I'm sure a black rock won't be, uh, won't be the first thing they miss. Personal property, that is a thing in the big city, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it can get you in a lot of trouble if you steal things. All right, Maybe as you guys up. get up to the second floor. Yep. Amir's gonna pretend like he's gonna put it back, but he'll just quietly stow it in his coat. Osgorth gives you a wink. Oh, wait, no, I see how this works. You see? Yeah, I get it. So it, this over here is the correct spot. It's not like an empo, it's not like an empo map where all the stairs are fucked up. God. God. So, yeah. so where, where actually you would appear right here because it's going up in a circle. Half circle. Oh, see? okay. Right. Go up this way. It comes out this way and goes up more to the next floor. So oh, I was thinking because like, like, this extends out, so I thought it was over here, 
So this part would actually be No, the, these these two these two are the same size, these two little areas. Ah, I got it. Yeah, oh. they're the same size. Um, uh, best to probably not touch or uh, fiddle with anything in this room. Uh, it appears to be magical garbage. What are, what are these, like, circles? They appear to be uh, elemental circles of some kind. And you can see uh, this magic circle has since faded and as too as this one. They've kind of faded into dust as they've, as dust has, as time has kind of come in and moved the magic and specifically disrupted the magical circles. Over here, there is a live electrical current that is moving through this type of metal machinery here. And there are a bunch of, uh, there are a bunch of levers and uh, weird, weird looking um, vials here. Could I like harvest like a piece of this virtual sure. circle? Sure, give me, give me oh. a intelligence check to try and see if you can, if you can Minus one's in, baby. On a seven? Seven. You get one of the small rune stones there. I will, I will see. Let me Did you that. need help with that? Um, sure. I mean... I Are we picking up funny rocks? <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're, if you're like whole things with rocks in here, then sure. Well, I mean, no, it's just, it, it looks like it's, uh, let me, can I check? Can I, uh, try to put it together too? Sure, give me another intelligence check. I will also help out. It's a group activity. Okay, you can, uh, Yay. you can either roll together or take advantage. It's always gonna watch. You can take advantage. Okay. Okay! okay. Oh! Huh. No need! Holy she shit! She doesn't even need it. Alright. Well, roll, roll, advantage just in, roll, roll advantage just in case. If you get a double 20, that would be pretty fucking sick. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. I'm still just winning. As you begin to move the stones together, your sight shifts and the the carvings of the runes begin to form in the way of like a sele of a star pattern, an astral pattern giving you much needed clarity in ways of how to repair this elemental circle of some kind. And you feel like in the future, you could potentially repair it using this knowledge and using any types of magical sources you would need. And you have unlocked a pathway. No, see, it, it, it all fits together. Like, ah. like over here and and it's this like part a, it's here. It's like a puzzle without the like box on the the, the picture on the front of the box. Yeah. We're gonna need a load of glue for that. Uh, you, you know, you know a lot about rocks, huh, Rock Boy? <laughs> I, I don't really, I don't know what you're talking about with like, mm -hmm. with like rocks. It's, it just, there just happens to be rocks here, but. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess. Out. Maybe, maybe that is my thing. Yeah, that's oh honestly kind of cool. You can like pick out like the rocks and use them for sh stuff. That's pretty cool. I usually. I mean, I guess. Them, but you seem to be more like in tune with this weird magic stuff. Well, I know, but like. Rocks are on the ground, and, you know, that's kind of boring, honestly. I mean, ground isn't boring. You know, there's so much stuff that happens in the ground, right? So much stuff that we can't see because we're walking on it. Do you I mean, think we could float, like... Could we float rocks? You ever try it? Uh, Has anyone ever tried? Uh, Toma's gonna pick up a rock and throw it and try to float it. Okay, uh, give me a dexterity <laughs> check. Sorry, he's just gonna, abilities. He's just gonna throw it and say, Float, rock! <laughs> Alright, give me a dexterity check. Float, my friend. Okay, you throw the rock, and when you do, it kind of arcs like a boomerang, and it hits the, hits the stairwell here. 
Wait, 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 wait. I, there is actually something I can oh, do in related to the ground. Do we have, like, uh, is there, like, just any, like, loose patch of dirt other than this, like, room oh, yeah. stuff? Most definitely. Uh, I'm gonna cast Mold Earth on it. Okay. And I'm going to make it into, like, a vague shape of a... of, like, a... a mirror. A vague shape of a mirror. Alrighty. You begin to mold Earth, and you watch as... As you kind of like rub your hand through the uh, through the dirt, it kind of forms into the very basic features of a of a dragonborn. But as you kind of like pluck your pointer finger through the through the dirt, it begins to form the grooves of the back gems of his head. This is the only like magic I kind of know. Far out, man. rocks, and I can sometimes freeze things. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's more than I can do. <laughs> I never knew what I looked like back there. I don't know how I do it. It just is a natural thing. Hmm. Osgorth's butler tendencies is uh, beginning to increase as you see him wipe away the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Toa's gonna, Toa's gonna open his sack. Yo, pour, pour that in there. Why, why is it that you always try to <laughs> as he puts as he puts this couple shards of glass into your into your bag. Alright, broken glass. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you hear you hear him mumble something under his breath. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanna I wanna is there like a panel here that I can tear open of this this little like levers and buttons? Uh no there is not. Panel? You can try and force Maybe. it open with a strength check. Yeah, are there are there like are there like screws? There are screws, yes. All right, he's gonna take his uh, his little toki and try to like wedge like wedge a corner in to try to start unscrewing it. Okay, give me a lock picking check. So just give me a flat dexterity. You got it. Let's not break it all with the oni shit. <laughs> On a ten, as you try to break out one of the screws, you're uh it. it it, it's hard to like catch the 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 groove of the screw that you need to like unscrew it mainly because it has been rusted over right, right, right. you said you made how many you made how many bombs what bombs specifically did you make uh they're just smokes okay they're just and they have like spices in them so it would like irritate the eyes Okay, uh, I'm just gonna say. And there was two, I believe. EC10 Constitution saving throw. Or be blinded. Amir, Amir is like, you said he's like seven foot, right? Yes. Wait, big man, give me a hand. Bo bo uh, sure, what do you need? Yeah, come over here. All right, I'm gonna grab this side. You grab that corner. We're gonna tear it out, right? I mean, do you really think it's a good idea to to like be rooting around in these people's things? Well, I don't think this gondola is really working, and I don't think it's operating. And this place is very clearly abandoned. So, well, I don't think they use the gondola. Is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I do. Well, all right, sure. Alrighty. Both of you give me, uh, both of you give me strength checks. Did you attempt to rip open the, uh, rip open the control panel? On a 12 and 15, you begin to get leverage, and just as you do, Amir, you see as a spark of electricity f f goes right by your head. Thankfully, you don't have actual hair, or that might have actually attached itself to you, as it goes out here, kind of like fizzles out into the distance. Holy shit. Uh, honestly, I kind of didn't think it still holds juice. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be, like, messing around with active equipment. You might get electrocuted. I mean, it'll probably fi be fine, but let's be respectful and stuff. <laughs> yeah, also, let's not ruin their shit. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. You guys get up to the next level.
And as you do, I need to change the music. Chunk. <laughs> no, not chunk. <laughs> You, you like all the all the little uh, pieces of worthless shit I put in this goddamn map? Uh, no, wait, this is on. real treasure to me. Junk. <laughs> Trash. Uh, that's not the music. Garbage. 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 It's fucking garbage. It's garbage. You're at the junkyard. Okay. Yo, we need like a fucking quarry to go to where that's just our hangout spot. You know, like a quarry? Like a quarry? Yeah. Like it rocks down the quarry. That'd be cool. Already. Whoa, whoa. Wait, I know this song. Whoa, what the whoa. Fuck? Holy this... shit. Whoa, whoa. That's... Isn't this thriller? Is Liz like, isn't this a guy's thriller remix? Or it's loud as shit, bro. Oh. Oof. Uh, that's not down. fitting the that's not fitting the mood, but I fuck with it. The atmosphere here got so much more intense. <laughs> yeah, that's the only for you. I feel like I have to fight aliens now. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? <laughs> Osgorth, uh, Osgorth looks forward. They're probably up here. The aliens. <laughs> Oh, is song. that what big yep. city kids do? Fight aliens? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, no, they, they I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if this fits the. Thing. I don't know if this fits the. No, no, nah, keep it. No, nah, no, nah, keep it. Oh, this shit is. Sick, bro. Bard, this is what he's playing. You know, now that I think about it, I should have realized that at charge because someone spoke to us through the speaker. That should have gave it away. As uh, yeah. as as you hear, there is commotion within the gondola. I gotta turn this music down, down. Ricky's like, uh, like um, has her... What the fuck do you do with this stowaway here? I don't know. I, we've never had a stowaway in her warehouse before. <gasps> Alien stowaway. Uh, you, I, I, I mean, I don't, we could give him a home. Why do we have to give him a home? Why do I have to give him a home? He's a stowaway for a reason. Um, stowaways could be useful for me to test my person. Um, do we come back tomorrow? <laughs> do I do I, what do I see as I walk forward? You see these four you see these four figures with a small goblin child in the center? <laughs> oh, hey. Ricky waves. Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's our guests. It's it's the uh, kids from the sanctuary. As they all kind of get up and do a bow. Hey, I I have wow. some I have some clothes to give you all. It's finally time we oh. saw you again. Yeah. Good morning. Hop in the Oh whoa 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 whoa! Let, let us go mm -hmm. out to you. We the gondola hi, can't take hi. too many people. As uh. Wait, what's with the? <laughs> what do what do the party see? As they see a small goblin child and a half orc child what do we see first off uh, can you guys introduce yourselves please because you are new people to not just the campaign but also to the world so please introduce yourself let's start with elf uh hello i'm playing tursk he's a 18 year old uh half orc barbarian or aspirant barbarian and uh he's lived with a sanctuary his whole life but uh recently left maybe almost a year ago as he uh, turned 18, and he's been running with the Oni for the last year. Okay. And uh, what what do they see, and what's your immediate reaction to seeing some kids from the sanctuary here? Uh, uh his eyes would actually kind of brighten a little bit because he uh he would know most of the uh the sanctuary kids from okay. a long time ago. Oh, it's you guys. Hi. You've gotten bigger. Oh, it's Tennis Kello. <laughs> And who who's this little goblin child in the center here? Uh, <laughs> God, it's so small. Why am I li I'm a quarter? <laughs> I didn't think I'd be a quarter of the size of everyone else's token. Okay. Size is my snake. Oh, oh, little, oh my you're God. tiny, aren't you? Because you're a child. I should I should be small, right? Okay. A little tiny. Uh, whatever. Anyways, this is Scribby. Uh, they are a little shit of a goblin. Um, who 
is homeless and orphaned and a sad piece of shit. Anyways, yeah. Apparently they're they've stowed away in the gondola. Yeah, you, you stowed away in the gondola, and the the Oni have found you and are not necessarily <laughs> taking you hostage, but trying to figure out what the fuck to do with this goblin. Question mark. You, you need help with them. And look, that's look. We we found this stowaway in our gondola. We don't really know what to do with them. Well, uh, you said your name was Scribby. Um. Please, please don't hurt me, okay? Oh, um, no, no, no. I can there's leave, no... I can leave, it's okay. Wait, I'll we, just go. We don't plan to hurt you here. Right? Right, Takomo? Uh, no, no, no. I never plan to hurt anyone. They put the bat away. Ricky laughs at that. Um, let, let, let us go outside and talk with our guests, and we can figure out what to do with uh, Scribby here. Uh, okay. As the three of them and uh Tursk included. Uh he uh Tacomo actually helps you up so you don't fall through the little gap here, because you are a small little goblin. Yeah. Are you a little goblin with three stamina points. Oh. <laughs> Wait, do you, like you guys have more than three? Nice smile. No, they all they all have three. Okay. Yeah. Scrooby just gives or uh, Ricky gives Scrooby a nice smile. Uh, Scrippy is like, he's like standing on the edge of the wall. I'll be like, careful, you might want to get down from there. He's ready to jump off and sprint away. You're not, uh, you're not, you're, you're, you're not in any trouble. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. You're not in trouble, Wait, it's okay. Put Scrippy down right here, away from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're a goblin, not an alien. <laughs> A, an alien? There's an alien. No, you idiot. No, you idiot. <laughs> Come, let us let us go to the meeting room. Osgoth, it's a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to see you three kids again. Hey, we're not kids anymore. Just the kids in my heart. As uh, all of you begin to make your way down to the first floor meeting area again. Transition. Uh, before Toad leaves, he's gonna stuff as much junk in his sack as he can. <laughs> all right, you find you find a bunch. You you uh, roll me a d100 as you begin picking out whatever you can find. Maybe a stuff roll. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not ex it's not exclamation point. I forgot. Yeah, different, different thing. Oh my no! god. Uh, oh, wait, is it both better? Wait a second. Yeah, that was better. Uh, okay. All right. Listen, really, I, no, he, 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 he very much just wants trash. You find a small red vial, a lesser healing potion within the trash pile. Yo! No. Let's go. Okay, Actually, how much like, general like <laughs> junk do I get? Uh, and you also find a a bunch of tuft of like some kind of uh, torn up mattress, a couple of wooden uh, wooden legs that you could potentially turn into something, and just a random bits and pieces of sh uh, shredded steel that you can turn into shrapnel. Mm, all right, all right. Is there any like like old food in there? Uh, sh mm, not there. No. Okay. As let me let me import the potion. Ricky's gonna keep be keeping one eye on Scrabby just to make sure like they're okay. <laughs> just making sure they're not I'm about to run away. Um Scrabby's like okay. standing behind the couch, <laughs> ready to like go into full hiding mode. Hey, it's okay. They're cool. Oh, comes in. Oh, I got junk! You got junk! <laughs> I got junk! You did! <laughs> um, you like collecting things, huh? That seems to be a theme. One, bada bing, bada boop, bada bing, bada boop. Alright, we can move over here. Well. As uh, you guys, they begin to take their seats. Mm hmm. And you guys can sit wherever you wish. Okay. As I put back on the uh, the chill chill music. 
think he's huh. gonna stand. We're getting to a chill part here. Same when I'm here. <clears throat> so, what are you all doing here? It's not like uh, it's not like a Fivia to bring you kids over to where we work. Well, it's actually um about that. Uh, Philia was attacked by something a couple of days ago, and she actually wants the kids to be trained under you. The three of them kind of look immediately shocked, and I'm assuming Terus would look the same way. <laughs> yeah, he would. Attack? Just to kick the shit out of some racists. Do you know who did it? Hmm. They all look to you guys. Didn't like Ophelia say it was like an elf versus like Tichai battle in the middle of the street or whatever? Mm. Yeah, two groups got into a brawl. She got stuck in the middle of it. A couple of gangs. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll, fi we'll figure it out. Don't have to worry. If we have to come around the sanctuary and protect you all, we got you. Oh, and like I said, I have some clothes to give you all. I have some fashion. The Close, the bar yeah. the Bard's College didn't Ooh. really like my uh, they didn't like my couple of applicants. But one day, one day I'll get in there. I'll get in there one day. Really, I'm surprised. You have a lot of skill with that stuff. It's really cool. He uh he has had uh, uh, Garanta has had a string of very bad luck in regards to getting into the into the Bard's College. He works at kind of, uh, he works at one of the sub schools, the Terran's, uh, Terran's School of Art. But unfortunately he has not, uh, his applications for the, uh, for the actual Bard's College itself, the Bard College of Art has not gone through. Unfortunately. He has to, he's waiting for his magnum opus before he, uh, actually puts in a serious, uh, application. Uh, and specifically for the other ones, uh, I believe Faruma. Free reading uh, profiles. He, he is uh, he is a kleptomaniac, and he has landed himself in the beating heart many a different times within uh, within Alverholt for stealing things of random value. Uh, he is very quick with his hands, and he can very quickly steal uh, from people without them even noticing. But uh. Uh, not... The hip GG got along. He, they did. <laughs> they did. That's where G uh, That's where GG actually learned a lot of uh, his mm. his uh, her tricks from. And specifically, Takomo, uh, I believe uh, he doesn't really have much aspirations other than wanting to protect the kids, because they've had a, they didn't really have a good mother, and they were taken Mackie. into the sanctuary. When they were older and they want to protect you all. Ricky probably spent the most time with Tomoko out of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> he is uh, very protective, but he's also prone to anger. Intent. Mm -hmm. So uh, all, all three of these uh, are available mentors that you can uh, that you can undergo mentorship with if you wish to go into one of their classes. Barbarian rogue bard. Barbarian rogue bard. Yep. Nice. And they are mentor yeah. one, which means. They are they are mentors, but they're not the best you can get out there. They're like the quick ones that like you can like gain a couple points with. And when you find someone else, you'd be like, I want to go him. I want to go see him, and I want to learn under her, or I want to learn under them. All that kind of cool stuff. Well, I see the clothes. I want to see them. All right. Can, uh, we, uh, can we get some for like Scribby over there? They look like they're wearing red. Oh, I have something for them. As uh, cool. you see, Garanta begins to kind of like whip their hand around. And you see a bunch of mannequins enchanted by a, a enchantment spell begin to come in and they each give you a pair of different clothes that all elegantly match your styles uh for for amir it represents his draconic culture in a way of being adorned with many different uh many different gems and jewels for reki it is uh it is a very seasonal wintry dress for uh toa it is a spring spring vestments you would wear just when just when it's getting off of the rainy season and it's kind of starting to the sun's starting to come out a little bit and for echo it is a typical typical carnival wear that you would find like elegant dresses of of blues and purples and greens and for scribbly uh scribby 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 mm -hmm. scribby yep. 
uh it is uh it is an over uh, like an uh, like a too big uh big white sweatshirt that kind of goes over over their hands and their and their head almost that they can kind of hide from and jeans excellent <laughs> i feel like staring at the dress like a blank face finally i get to wear big city clothes <laughs> Alverholt is one of the biggest cities for fashion, and if you wish, you could follow in the footsteps of the many bards that live here and dictate fashion. Ooh! <laughs> How did you make those? And she, like, points to, like, the winter outfit. Well, I weave, and I also weave magic into my clothing. Mm. You can learn. You can teach me how to weave? Of course. That does sound like fun. <laughs> Wait. She's like staring at this like, this feels so fucking familiar. Where is this from? <laughs> That's their- concern. Are these- Look. Are these clothes magical? I wouldn't say they're magical, but they're magically made. Oh. The bards, uh... It's very common for Alverholtian fashion to have some sort of magical make so it's easier to make and the colors match. It helps make the process a lot quicker. So makes your art become more alive. This dress feels familiar. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I'm sure the Petrovs would love it. <laughs> And now this is where we get to go to the portion where you guys can split off. Uh, all three of them will have a uh, specific training that you can undergo. Uh, Takoma will focus on weapon training. Faruma will focus on dexterity training and Garanta will focus on Arcana. So if you want to go to them for spells, you can go to them. If you want to go to, uh, if you want to go to Faruma for learning how to be quick, you can. And for Tacomo, it will be just strength, uh, strength, dexterity, weapon training, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk over to Scurvy and like kneel down to them. Hi, okay. you doing all right? Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't really know what to do. Um. Well, I'm Riki, Riki North Star, and these are all my friends. Hello. Uh, Kiora. Hi, 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 everyone. Hey. I'm Scribby. Um, I don't think I have a last name. You don't? It's <laughs> it's not that weird. That's okay. I didn't have a last name until they gave me one. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, nice to meet you all. I should I go? I, well. That's well. A better question is: Do you have anywhere else to really go, or are you like us, like you? Or you you, know. a lot of us were on the streets for a long time. Have you been living on the streets? Uh, yeah. Well, more more the sewers. Like, yeah, but. Oh. The sewers? Yeah. I have some friends down there. Oh, you do? Yeah. You run into a grung named Goops. I know her well. Oh, I think she yelled at me once. Uh, I've only met like two sister. frogs. Uh, uh, actually, that might have been one of her older sisters. They uh, okay. all have Goops at the end of their name. There's like... Goops, loops, and shoops. Poops? No. no. <laughs> be a bit fitting being in the sewers, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, that if kinda... you do need some place to stay, I hate having to bring this up, but we all stay at a place called the Sanctuary. Oh? But where's where that? The, the uni come from, then where Thirst comes from. We can take uh, you there when we go back. Yes, yeah, nice. Um, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Be is it there. warm? It is warm. It is pretty warm. We got blankets, pillows, a bunch of reading stuff if you want to learn that. 
Oh. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Ricky smiles. Alright. And she'll stand up, stretch. And uh, I'll wait to see what Tursk is doing over here, but I want to go talk to him later. Tacoma will kind of motion over to Tursk. <laughs> Boss. I, yeah. What is it you need me to do? I want you to go with these kids. I want you to protect them. If, uh, Can't do. If, if we're trying to figure out who attacked Ophelia, I think it's going to require a lot of our time. I want to train these kids and I want to train them well. And if there's someone that I know can do that, it's you. Right. Plus, I still love Ophelia. Well, a lot of us do. That's why I'm doing this. That's why we're all doing this and the brothers kind of look and nod with each other. I think uh, you know most of them, so shouldn't be introduction shouldn't be too bad. When should we get started? Today? I think we're going to be training over the next couple of days. I want to get them. Uh, want to get them well. I want to get them good. This world's changing, Tursk. It's been completely different from how it was three years ago. Back when I got out, it's completely different now. So, I'm trying to. I want. I want to train the next generation before. Before things get too bad. Sure thing. He said it. He, he said, said the thing. He said the next generation. Uh, is there a place that the uh, the Oni used to train? They train here. Oh, okay. So, uh, for example, uh, what Tacoma would have you do is he would he would have you fight through this hallway, as he or like kind of train you out in the in the open yard here. Um, uh, Furuma, Furuma would uh, I don't really know how he would train dexterity here other than just kind of having you oh. run run through run through this without getting caught by him and uh, Garanta would just train you up in the uh, the magical area mm. dexterity you could also do like uh, that might be why the cards are there you could train sleight of hands oh true unfortunately someone took the cards <laughs> so uh, so you won't be able to learn your sleight of hand proficiency yeah, I was yeah. on brand. <laughs> he sleight of handed the sleight of hand test and took the t and took the card before the test even started. That's that's how you know you're uh, you're a real rogue. Yeah, you know, he should have kept his cards on him. I'm actually gonna go talk to. How do you pronounce his name? Garanta. Garanta. It's Gar Garanta, Faruma, and Takomo. Okay. All right. Hey. Oh. Okay. You finish. All right. You finish. Uh. He'll kind of look to you. You have any objections? None at all, boss. And he'll give you like a pat on the head. You're doing good. Pat, pat. I'll get them going soon. Which ones of them do uh, you think can fight with a sword? He'll kind of look over. I think that uh, I think that the Chai by the door is pretty good with a sword. He looks like he's got that build. Something, something about the, uh, something about the one with the snake too. I think they'll be pretty quick. Uh, would Tursk be able to see if they're they're armed or not? Uh, they are they are equipped with wooden wooden weaponry. They are equipped with trainee mm -hmm. swords. Uh, Echo is currently balancing, trying to balance the sword in her nose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I think I think they're gonna be pretty good with all that. I'll get him set up with some weapons today. And uh, Terz is gonna walk over to you guys. So. So. You guys want to pick some uh, new toys out? You probably saw them in the other room. Oh. Uh? Like weapons. Oh, you mean swords? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, Terz looks over and nods when you uh, mention the weapons. Come on, we got a decent selection, I think. Can, it's a lot of. We can go ahead. I want to talk to Karanta real quick. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too into swords either. I'm. I'll, I'll, I'll stay here. I know a guy who threw swords for a living. Juggled them. <laughs> uh, did you know a guy who swallowed them? No, but I heard about him. <laughs> <laughs> Don. Oh to well, the one who juggled them died, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not the one that swallowed them? 
Sorry for your loss, man. That's all right. <laughs> Enrique's gonna look to Garanta. Garanta will look at you with a smile. Ah, it's a pleasure seeing it's a pleasure seeing to you too, as always. Um, about the dress you made me. Um, mm -hmm. where did you like get the inspiration for all these patterns from? Like the lace, it looks familiar to me. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of Tachai friends in the Terran School of Arts. And they uh, they've helped me with inspiration for the for the dress and for the for the spring vestments for Toa over there. I like to um, I like to learn about cultures that aren't known to me, and uh, the Tachai are the best thing. I feel bad for what my people did so long ago, and I want to I want to change that. Hmm. I really do appreciate it. I don't know how much I'll wear this, but I definitely will very soon, probably. Maybe not out in public, because <laughs> uh, she kind of gestures to himself. I got a little bit of a thing going on. I, I like I like your style. It's very Alvar Holtian. Mm -hmm. And what about you? How are you, Mr. Amir? I'm. I'm good, I guess. I. Thank you for for making this. I, I it, you really, I, it's really it it's 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 right. Like, you know, I, yeah. He'll uh, he'll, he'll he'll give you a smile and he'll like uh, put his thumb to his nose and kind of like hit it, like kind of flick it. I do my best. I do I do my work and I do it well. Hey, uh, can I ask you? Can I ask you? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Ask away. So, like, you make stuff, right? With with magic. Mm-hmm. Like, how big can you... How, how big can you make? Like, how big of a thing can you make? Uh, let me see. Because, I mean, like, what I was thinking, like... Like, can you make stuff that... Like not just clothes, like I don't know, maybe something to like something to ride around in or or hmm. I can I can always try, but it will take me a little bit to weave that kind of material together. I see. But like it's something that that you could learn, right? To do. I've heard stories of mages that can summon horses and ride them. I mean, I, I I guess I wasn't really thinking about like horses. I would, I, like, you know, maybe like a something that flies or. Oh, you want a flying creature? Get an egg. Yeah, I mean, cause you know, like like. Yeah, I guess. There are people that can create bonds with animals. I believe, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he's still there, but little Domo, he has a bond with that, with that weird chicken of his. God. Okay, but what if, what if you wanted to go a little further? Like, um, you know, up, and he kind of just like points upwards. You want to make a, you want to make a creature that can fly into the sky? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like as far, hmm. you know, as far as possible. I'm sure there are some creatures that can fly really, really high up. You can get an airship. Airships can fly really high into the sky. They're becoming, they're becoming really, really commonplace ever since the Hard Oak's been giving their technology away. The Hard Oak. Yes. The Hard Oak is a very beautiful land with luscious trees and giant, giant, um, giant airships that streak across the sky. It's a sight to see, and I want to see it one day. I can only see it through postcards, sadly. Hey, we don't really have money here. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Definitely. But well, if, you, if you have a dream to soar through the sky, I'm sure you can do it. Thanks, I, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. You want to learn how to do some magic? Sure. Okay. As he will begin to teach you Arcana in his own way, in that he imbues uh, magic into things, and those things become alive. I need you to roll me a D100. Sheesh. 62. Alrighty. You, my friend, learn the minor illusion cantrip. Nice. As you can begin to imbue a little bit of magic into your own little pictures and creations that you want to help spark that mind. As, as you cast Minor Illusion for the first time, what do you summon? Um, he's gonna summon... Like, uh... I guess because he's, he's still getting used to it, so he's trying to, like, shape it together and everything. But he's gonna summon basically, like, a... Like a little, little disc in the center, and then he's gonna summon, like, this... Another small, like, little... Sphere... And then it's, he's gonna try, like, try his hardest, and like, the sphere is gonna turn into sort of like a bird shape, and it's just gonna go all the way up. All right. From uh, from the ground. As the as the small little bird kind of begins to flap its wings and fly into the sky, you see Garanta looks at you with a smile. Hey, you picked it up quicker than I did. You're doing you're doing great. It can blossom into uh, many different forms. This type of magic. And you know, it might not be the type for you. You might not like the arts. You might find something else that fits your fancy, but hey, hey a start's a start, right? Yeah, you're right. Thanks for this. I, I, uh, yeah. And he'll just kind of smile and I, I should, I should go maybe. All right. As he logs back and gives you a smile. See what everyone else is doing. And he gives you like a rock on. Hmm. As Tacoma will begin to walk out. What? Um. Okay. Um. Do I see anything cool in Faruma's pockets? Just curious. Okay. Uh. Roll me a D100. <laughs> okay. Oh no! You're gonna. Steal from the kleptomaniac. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna steal a Snickers bar. You find a pack of cigarettes. Oh god. Oh, oh, that's sick. Hell yeah. Oh, those are bad for you. Uh, I'd li I'd like to try and pickpocket those. Yeah. Don't do a little goblin. Right, you're, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna light one of them. You also no, find a lighter. No, you also I find a lighter in his pocket. Okay. I will put them in your pockets. Uh, well, I can just take them. Yeah. He was trying to steal from him. Like the cigarettes in his pocket. But you were trying to take them, right? Yeah. It doesn't appear that he's noticed you. Or if he has, he he's letting you take them. Oh. oh. <laughs> letting a little kid take cigarettes? Yeah. Not bad influence. Score. Right. And uh, Scurvy's going to sneak off. <laughs> Which is back. Yeah, All right, I added them. I added them to your inventory. Oh my god! Go. Well, is gonna catch that <laughs> as soon as you. <laughs> uh, he's gonna dash over to like under Amir as they go through the door. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> no, no, it was good. It was good. You're too polite. He's it's, a nice boy. It's weird, Amir. As you begin to open the door, you just feel a rub against your leg as as you see a small little goblin kind of dart, uh, like dart under you, and then almost do like the ant, like the cartoon run where they kind of like change trajectory and then just dash through the door as they you literally the, they drift on the floor. You find a cigarette in your pocket. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> drop by, drop off. <laughs> Also, uh, 
I've been adding the items into your inventory. So uh, if, if you want to know what they actually are, you can uh, look at them. Uh, mm. Some of them, some of them are just the basic items and they don't really have any, they don't really have any. Uh... Can, can you add the weird ass egg to my inventory? Sure. Because mm. then I can just clear this thing that I wrote. Uh, so what is the selection here of weapons? They are very, they are very basic weaponry. So yeah. uh, I will say, let me go up to the weapons list. Oh god, no, why would they wild magic? No! Why did he give the kid wild magic cigarettes? Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> find uh, everything except uh, except for the heavy heavy weapons, which you guys aren't strong enough to wield. Uh, the only one that can wield heavy weapons is Tursk at the moment, so you can pick them out. Uh, uh, Echo would look around and find a dagger if you okay. can. You can find a couple of them. You can find you find about two of them. Okay. I'm gonna look you. around for a more weird weapon. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna look at the list. All right. Have. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Um. Fourteen. Fourteen. All of the weirder weapons that you find, you find a. You find a whip. That's pretty weird. That's pretty yeah. unconventional. Um, you find mm -hmm. a a blowgun that has a couple of Ooh. darts with it. So blowgun and darts. And you also find a sling. Mm -hmm. Now do I, I go for sling? For you want to for a chain? Yeah, I want to look for a chain. You can certainly find a chain whip. I'm going to pick no, up the blowgun. Oh, yeah, you can definitely find a chain. Gonna start like uh, in the corner. I would, I do want the sling. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Here, you can have the sling then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the blow dart. How many darts do I get with that? Uh, roll me two d six. Ten. You find ten darts. Cool. You know what? I could go to Goops and ask if she can put poison on me. So. And and for your for your sling, you can just attach any any rock to it. You don't necessarily yeah, need I, to find. I'm assuming I can just pick up a pebble off the ground and yep. shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, could I? Hmm, I need to read the spell. Is there a small knife or something like that? Yeah, you can pick up a dagger. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. I would like a dagger as well. Okay. Ah, a knife. <laughs> Could I attempt um, mm -hmm. to enchant one of the tips of the darts with frostbite? I don't see why not. You could use okay. a you could use a you could use a ready to action on your previous turn to apply it with magic. Okay. Yeah, I'll I just see, want I'll to deal cold damage. I want to deal cold damage. I'll let you guys experiment. It, it's it's a little yeah. it's a little funky little sandbox. Oh uh, yes, guys... perfect. Weird ass egg. Uh, yep. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Call the way. Do you know the way? Yo, the weird ass egg. <laughs> just the just way. me and the boys hanging out with the weird ass egg, smoking our wild magic cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> is it really a party without the weird ass egg? <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm it saying. It definitely yeah. is not. I really can't go anywhere without oh. the weird ass egg. I know, I know. We can, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna check up on the egg and see how it's doing. Roll me a d100. I'm for the egg. Let's roll one d100. How's the egg feeling? The egg, the egg wobbles. That's it. Tursk, do you pick up any weaponry? Uh, yeah, he would pick up any, um, uh, any spear or pike. Okay. Hmm. Is it, uh, is it supposed to do that? The, the egg? I, I, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's one of Domo 2's eggs. It might be another blue chicken or something. I don't know. Blue chicken? <laughs> uh, yeah, Domo has this weird blue chicken. I, I lays a bunch of eggs. That yeah. sounds like a carnival attraction. <laughs> 
I, I, I mean, yeah, probably is somewhere. Uh, and, and he just, he came up to my door one night and just stood in front of it, staring, scared me half to death, and then left an egg and didn't say anything. I don't know. It's about it's on him. I, I just have an egg now. And it's wobbling, which is telling me that something's gonna hatch from this, and I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, so if you, you if that if that thing hatches like like you could it, what if it hatches another one and then that one hatches like two don't, and don't even I don't want to think about an infinite chicken. and then they multiply chicken. infinitely <laughs> yeah, yeah. Miss Ophelia hasn't okay. thrown it out yet I have an old rabbit cage underneath my bed I mean I'm just thinking like it, this you know this could be like like a business opportunity you know like i mean that's that's an endless source I, of blue I chickens i mean it's free food hmm. I, I mean a blue <laughs> chicken like, pie so conflicted on every single side of this i'm not going to eat anything that comes out of this thing no a snake might we might feed it to zerbo even if it's a full course meal on the table? <laughs> I mean, I don't trust Domo or Domo too. You hear a cry That's out in the me. distance as Domo <laughs> fucking cries. Plus an armor defense. <laughs> I'm armor defense. The Takamo just a rage. It's not my choice this time. <laughs> <laughs> I did not choose uh, it. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I want to get the chain I got, mm -hmm. and I want to try to attach it to my Toki from my backstory. Okay. Try to make a chain sickle, basically. Give me a... Ooh, crafting? This would be... Like, general, I don't know, int? Yeah, give me an int oh, check. Probably... Alright. Do, 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 do. This is so sad. Um... <laughs> Can I can I give him the help action? You can. I'm here. I got really small fingers. I can help you put it together. <laughs> Banger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, scribby. Go roll oh, another one. Nazi scribby. Roll another one. Eleven. Okay. Two ones. Another one. Two ones. You, th you rolled three ones. That's that's hey three ones is pretty good. Uh, yeah. As you begin to weave through the uh, through the chain into the sickle, it takes you a little bit of time, so you don't get a chance to do weapon training. Uh, but you, you do, however, get your chain sickle. Banger. Uh, so I will add that into your, into your character once I finish doing this. Yes. And then we go down here. We go here. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. The actual bird. Yeah. And then we'll do, ah, uh, for that. All right. Let me add the sickle into your inventory and we'll make it a chain sickle. So it's super cool. It has a 15 foot reach. Banger. Oh shit. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I I... There we go. I couldn't move I'll give it 50 there. feet reach. You can reach the whole <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> Motherfucker Guillaume over here is button. like <laughs> just throwing shit with his giant uh, chain sickle. All right. Now I have incentive to finish drawing. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you gotta finish the art now. Yes. And I added it so you can, uh, you can. I don't know if you wanted to change it to the actual name of the Toki. Up to you. Got it. And uh, with that, uh, Tacoma will walk to the center. All right. Those that wish, you can come train with me, outside. The others, Faruma and Garanta will take you if you wish. Or you could just spend the day here trying to do something. There's a magical circle upstairs that needs, that I think can be repaired if you put some time and effort into it. Oh Maybe. yeah, I saw that, I... You did? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh no, yeah, yeah. He oh, it was to try you know. and fix that weird magic circle up there. I don't know what it does. I'm not going to pretend like I know what it does, but hey, it's something you can put time to. 
And if uh, if you do it, I'll, I'll give you a little money. Leave you some money. Give you maybe a little incentive. As Tacoma will kind of like shrug and walk out. Side. You know how to use knives, right? <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, what, what what do I do? There are two things I want to do, but I don't know which. I'm gonna to try do. to I'm gonna try to fix that circle. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna join Amir on that. Alrighty. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go and. Uh. Pew. Yeah, let's see what Garant is doing. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Coco because I think I want to. Alrighty, we'll start with the people that wish to get training from Tacomo. As I need the both of you to roll for me, initiative. Oh shit! First initiative roll in the game. I rolled a fucking now one. <laughs> oh wow! Let's go. Oh shit! Oh, Damn. Damn. Yeah. Well, you're gonna be seeing a lot of that from me. You just All stand right. still. This is this is the payment we have. This is the toll we have to pay for rolling all of those nat twenties in the first session. Yeah. This is the payment. <laughs> you this both trip on your ass immediately. God. And Tacomo Ricky. has the following traits. <laughs> oh God. No, I'm, 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 I'm joking. Time. <laughs> Reckless. Time. Time. Oh, Strategist. <laughs> Merciless. This is an empo. This is an empo boss fight. <laughs> oh my God. Fucking kills the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just punts him. Tacoma will ready, will ready his club, and he will, he will look to you. He will look to you, Reki. I already know what Turs can do, but I still wanna. I always like sparring with him. He's got, he's got a nice style. Come at me. As he backs up and gets into his stance, uh, his stance is a little weird. His, his, his hand blocks his mouth. While his bat is pointed to your face. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I got a phone call in the middle of that. <laughs> I uh, apologize. He points to you with his bat, as uh, his his uh, his hand, his palm will face towards you and cover his face, in his weird and unique battle style. Okay. Tersk is like a little bit confused. He's like, "Oh, wait, we're doing this now." Of course, <laughs> enemies won't wait. Enemies will strike. And I am your enemy. Luckily for you, I'm not your enemy. I cast Frostbite on him. <laughs> All right, talking. roll the hit. Well, he has to make a con save for one damage. That succeeds. You watch as the bat flourishes the Frostbite away. Well, that's the, Good that's effort, the good effort, but you know, spell casting sometimes falls flat and uh, it'll be Tursk's turn. Okay. Uh, Tursk, just gonna take one step forward and use the reach of his spear. Or his uh, pike mm -hmm. and make a spike. All right, roll the hit. Gotta figure out how to do this. Head. Used to fend well. Wow, that will hit as your pike goes forward and slashes him across the. Uh, uh, you you do notice? Oh, uh, you fought him before. Uh, he tends to hide. Sometimes he hides his hands within his cloak and his jacket, as his jacket isn't really attached to his arms. His arms are under said jacket. You manage to cut through that jacket and slash him across the chest as he smiles. Good, good, good. You know my tactic. Enemies are tricky. Enemies are flashy. And they try to deceive you, especially when you fight an Alverholt. Be prepared. Been learning a few things. As he'll, as he'll walk up and he'll attempt to bonk you over the head. No. Yeah, it's... That will hit as he bonks you over the head for one stamina damage. And he will continue moving towards, uh, he will continue moving towards Reki. 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 Uh, you, uh, you can make, oh, actually your range is, uh, you're, he's still in your range, so he technically doesn't make the attack. All right, Reki, it's your turn. Reki, it's your turn. Oof, gonna get that wrong. Um... As he's walking up to me, I would like to cast Mold Earth on his feet. Mm -hmm. 
to stop him from being able to move. Okay. Roll me a D100. The dice are fucking me over. Okay, he's gonna make a deck save. As uh, you watch as, as he as he his danger sense begins firing off as he as he raises his one leg expecting another frostbite. However, you lock his other leg in place, cutting his movement in half. And then I'm going to try to like duck roll over here. All right, he's gonna make an attack of opportunity against you. Yep. That'll hit. He bonks you in the head, but he doesn't bonk you. He doesn't bonk you hard for one point of stamina damage. As he as yep. he hits your neck and it doesn't want to deal too much damage to you. Yeah. Alrighty, Tursk, it's your turn. Oh, I gotta not do that. Okay. Um. Uh, I think I'll just attack him again from here. Okay. Well, that one will miss as uh, as he grabs uh, as he grabs something from his pocket, which turns out to be a large morning star as he deflects it with his other hand and he throws it out to the back as he throws you always got tricks up your sleeve boss literally and i have many sleeves because of my jacket (laughs) uh bars this, (laughs) this time he's going to uh he's going to walk here and do a wide swing and attempt to hit both of you thankfully that's a pretty good roll as he's gonna as he's gonna do a wide arcing swing hitting Tursk and then trying to hit Reki at the same time Boom that will miss Tursk That one will hit Reki though for one point as he comes down towards your horn just barely missing you but still dealing the damage uh, She's getting frustrated The problem The problem is I can tell I can tell you want to run away But you have to make sure your enemy can't catch up with you. Okay? Intense like thinking in her mind right now. Um, we gotta be aggressive. Let's take them on at the same time. I mean, I okay. And uh, Tersus gives you like a, a knowing nod, just trying to encourage you. <laughs> Ricky's notably a pacifist. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, is it my turn? Yep, your turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my training weapon then, I guess, because okay. it's the only thing I have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna do another, like, march forward and swing at his hips to, like, try and get him down on the ground. All right, roll the hit. That will hit for one point of damage. As you bonk him over, the, as you bonk him on the side, as, uh, your, tra- your training weapon deals a little more punch than he, than he originally anticipated. Taking one point of damage as he gives you a nod and a and a, and a clap. Uh, Would that have been a uh, flanking? Uh, we don't do flanking here. We do swarming instead. Oh. Uh, and in the future, I think we're going to do the Pathfinder rule where swarming lowers the AC of the creature rather than give advantage. Okay. Because I think that's I think that's a better design than just advantage. Turks, it's your turn. However. Uh, I accidentally got disconnected. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what okay, we call it. Oh, I'm str- why am I streaming my screen? Oh, man. That's probably why I was dropping frames, bro. This. That was you've been doing that this entire time. That's probably why I was dropping frames. As you go uh, down the slam with your pike, uh, he will duck out of the way this time, sensing with his danger sense. Yeah, you guys can or uh, um, Ricky can tell that Terse like fighting style isn't really uh, refined at all. He's just kind of yeah. Swing it away. Everyone keeps mispronouncing it, uh, Riki. Your swings oh, are too it's... broad, Tursk. He will turn back to you and and club you again over the head. Uh, Ooh. However, he will Ooh. miss this time as you grab your spear and do a little flourish, catching him off guard as his club lands f- f- right down by this F. Uh, and he's gonna knowingly take the AOPS from both of you as he goes to run into the corner. Uh, Ricky is not going to attack him. Okay. Curse get out. Ooh, 16 will hit for nine points of damage. You slash him across the back as he gives you a nod. Gotcha. The weakest thing about your enemy is that, well, if their weapons are on their hands, it means they can lose them. And then that gives you advantage 
you see combat is a team game it's a team sport you both in life or death situations you need to rely on your strengths and cover your weaknesses as he points to Riki you got this champ Oh, I'm gonna try to do a monk shit, even though I'm not a monk yet. Okay. Um, I want to begin running up this way, and mm -hmm. I want to mold earth under my feet, jump up and kick him in the face. All right. Roll me a D100. That's hype. Two. Two. As, as you run forward and you immediately slap the ground with mold earth, as it forms a mini little trampoline for you, you jump up and do a flying kick and kick him into the wall. As he sl as he as he uh, does a last minute guard, slamming him still into the wall. Roll me a D eight. <laughs> so cool. oh. You deal three. three points of damage as as his guard is broken and he slammed into the wall. However, that gives Tursk an advantage on his next attack roll as his guard is broken and he can't properly defend this time. That is the coolest thing I've ever done! That was sick. <laughs> I agree, that was pretty cool. Uh, Alrighty, Tursk, it is your go. Alright, Tursk's gonna run up. You're mine now. And you have advantage on this hit. That's a pretty good hit. As you as you swing your pike down onto the creature, not onto the creature, onto Como, uh, you bring it right towards his neck as he gives you the sign to stop. Do you stop? Yep. Okay. I just have to make sure. Sometimes people don't. Uh, as as you as you immediately instinctually stop with the momentum, and he walks up and he gives you both pats on the head. Oh. Good job, you two. Oh my God. And he will raise your stamina back to full. Nice. I, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> Ricky is absolutely flabbergasted with herself. You have that quick thinking. You have that quick thinking that's, uh, very important. I'm proud of both of you. Where'd you learn to do that, Ricky? I don't know. I just did it. I just did it. Instinct? It, like, shrugs? Trace is just gonna look a little confused and scratch his head. Man, I wish I had that kind of power. And then uh, he'll like go over to the wall and try to like run up on it, like like uh, she did. And then he just like flop step back down in the ground. As you attempt to run up the wall, your center, your 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 mass is a little too big compared to Riggy, who's of a smaller frame. As you attempt, you almost fall, but uh, Takomo catches you and kind of like puts you back down on the ground. I like I I use my my tail to like hoist myself up, I guess. Give I need, myself more momentum. I need you to both roll me uh, D100s. Please. Okay. 37. Uh, slash oh, roll 1 D100. Not, uh, not exclamation point. Oh, that's a zero. Uh, that's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been very good on a D100 D roll. Zero. <laughs> Somehow roll the one. All right. Riki, your strength is increased by one. Oh, shit. Okay. To 11. You feel like, Terris, one more training with Takomo, you, your strength would also be increased by one. So over downtime, what you can what you can do is you can... Uh, one of your downtime events you can do is you can train with Takomo or the other people at the Oni, and over time, you can gain uh, you can gain specific points in your, in your stats over the course okay. of the campaign. Uh, that was uh, mentioned in the aspirant rules, but it's also uh, downtime events that you guys can partake in. And there's a big dock filled yeah. with all that stuff uh, pinned in the Discord channel. Yeah, I got that open. I, I, I hope I didn't hurt you too badly, because I remember my boots have steel in them. Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. As uh, okay. they pat their wounds <laughs> and you see them take a potion, uncork it, and begin to drink it. Okay, good. <laughs> And he heals the full. Magic Gatorade. Magic, <laughs> the magic aid. <laughs> some some sprite there. As uh, he takes you all inside and he says, "I think I got a little surprise for both of you." As uh, he takes you up to up into up into the crates here, the crate area, and he gives you both, uh, he gives you both some uh, some sweets. 
Oh, don't, cool. don't tell the other brothers, that, but I got sweets. I buy them all the time because I have a sweet tooth. Aww. What kind of sweets? Uh, candied. Uh, candied. Wow, that that's, <laughs> that helps you. So uh, chocolate, like a... chocolate candy. Oh, okay. Oh, is there any? Oh, I was gonna ask. Is there any honey taffy? Is yeah, sure. Shit? There's yes. also uh, there's also chocolate coins, which are which are made in Elverholt and a lot uh, and sold across the kingdom of Dumont. I'll take a bit of the chocolate coins, but mainly, like, Riki is hung up on this honey taffy. Alrighty. I'm gonna save this for later. Thanks, boss. Thanks. You, you two can spend the rest of the day doing whatever you want, or if you want to come back, you can get some more training. It's up to you. Now, now who stole the fucking playing cards? What the fuck? As he walks over <laughs> and he notices the playing cards are gone, he kind of grumbles to himself. <laughs> Alright, moving over here... Oh, where, where did Scribbly go? Oh, Scribbly's at the top of the gondola, right? Right? Or did you move? Oh, you, oh, you I'm, threw I'm over back. here. I'm Scribbly's here. tiles. <laughs> there, there they are. There they are. Or, look, look. Or, oh, there's the scam. Their tile is so small, I get them lost in the map, okay? They're lost yeah. in the sauce. It looks like one of our cursors. That's what Kobu pointed out earlier. <laughs> it's like, uh... It me a little bigger. <laughs> sure. Oh, wait. That, is that what that green dot is? Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, 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 that green that green smear on the map is oh, indeed a character. Okay, oh, there I, oh shit! Oh, we he about. grew. Let's go. Oh, big! Screen. I can't. I can't. Oh, I, I can. Only, I can only make you point five or one. Uh, one is or point five is what you re, re, just were, and point one or one is the uh, the base tile size. So, damn, no point five. Oh five. damn. Okay, I think I'd rather be point five then. Okay. Okay. I, I tried bad. to make you point it's seven, but uh, because I used to be able to make someone point seven, but I can't do that anymore, unfortunately. Mm. Too bad. Tragic. Yeah. Okay. Tragic. So, are the three you working on repairing the magic circle? Yeah. Okay. I am. Yeah. So I need. So, so, so it comes up, shuffling his cards that he stole, looking at it. Where's that echo coming from? Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure it was. That oh, one. it's coming from Eco. From Echo. Ah, <laughs> Eco is echoing. <laughs> Alright, so for the three yeah, of you, uh, what I need is either one of you to roll three D100, or I need all of you to roll D100s individually to attempt to repair uh, the magical circle. Uh, I, do we want to do it individually then? I, I, I think so. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> a five and a one. Actually insane. Oh, God. Oh, you repaired it the first time. How? How do you... Okay, okay. You got a yeah. mat 20 and a one. For the... It's phenomenal. You guys, I give you this quest, you know, it maybe takes you a couple sessions, like maybe five or something. No, you just finish the second session. That's, hey, that's, no, that's, that's, really what, that's what I love about I'm RNG, though. Shit. That's what I love about R and D. Listen, we're, we're prodigies, you know. Yeah, you're, you're prodigies. Yeah, yeah. we're the fucking prodigies. Uh, yeah, I was made. I was made to do this. <laughs> <laughs> These orphans, you man, made. they're fucking crazy. You are the rock wizard. We are the anime protagonists. All right, funny, funny yeah. enough. Uh, I need to put some music on as uh, you guys. You guys meet someone. Here. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Who do we meet this time, man? Hmm? I wonder. Who An ancient we... red dragon. <laughs> oh yeah. no, it's like the video I sent. <laughs> you, you steal the horn. <laughs> you predicted the future, man. We meet the uh... Christian God. We meet Jesus Christ himself. Oh, the classic ma mysterious magic music. Okay. Uh, I gotta get their tile. I wasn't expecting you guys to meet them so soon. Okie dokie. We accidentally summon a warlock patron into the Oni's hideout. So, like, when we put it together, does it just start, like, glowing or something? Uh, shit? it begins to glow together with red, uh, red sparks of lightning that, uh, as soon as you repair oh, no. the whole thing together, immediately sprout out at once. 
almost like a living organism they they the lightning sparks out and then attaches like a rope at the uh at the at the circles and the parts together uh, uh guys did you ask what this did first nah i mean i guess we uh, but i mean this is cool scurvy scurvy's gonna go hide in this crate real quick vibes all around oh nope okay how about you sure <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> Alrighty, well... Do you think we should step back a little? I mean... Nah! Nah, Wait, yeah. no, they, they, have, they have their own... It's all part of the, the uh, scientific process, you know, Mike? You, got, you gotta smell what the magic uh, tastes like. You gotta smell it. Yeah, man, gotta be up close and personal. They have their own, they have their own theme, I forgot. Oh. Oh no, I'm gonna be able to identify them based on the theme. Uh 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 uh
Where's we just unlock? <laughs> the train that everybody's been trying to unlock. <laughs> I guess Fuck the little guy easy. doesn't want to talk. Yeah, I guess I guess yeah, you got him shook. Oh, bad time to lag out. Cash is Cash is uh, dying. Ah, uh, unfortunate oh. connection problems. So thank you for connecting the magical circle. Yeah. Okay, but what? Like, what do you mean? Like, what What did we just connect? Believe it or not, this was an old site during prehistory called the Twilight Junction. And during prehistory, it connected to my train. And I used it to travel across the Phantom. Why is this inside of an old gondola station? Who knows? The world's weird. <laughs> Cause I decided yeah, no. to put it back. <laughs> I guess you're right. Anyway, bugger. Uh, what are you? I am an amalgamation of something. I'm a glitch, pretty much. Uh, like, where'd you get your pants? You know... Yeah, they look very form-fitting, comfortable, and athletic. I think I stole them <laughs> off some homeless guy somewhere. This is a Damn. fucking scene from the Terminator. <laughs> so this train that you're you're that you're talking about, like it can take you different places. Like, does it it just, it takes you to to different continents or? I'm gonna step in. <laughs> whoa, 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 personal boundaries, back up, please. What? I can't go in? Please, please. Oh, right then, keep your secrets. <laughs> Unfortunate, Wait, so we can't go in. you guys uh, cannot go into the portal yet. Is there a height requirement? Um, yeah, there's a high <laughs> requirement. You gotta be approximately first level to get into the train. Oh, I got no idea what first level means, man. Yeah, you don't, probably. <laughs> I miss him. I miss him. But you unlocked him, which is pretty cool. Hey, listen, like, I don't want to be, um, I, I don't want to be, like, too, you know, because I, I, I'm sure you have a lot of things to do, like, with, you know, with, with your train and everything. But, like, could we get something? Because we, I mean, because we connected your, your thing for you. And at that moment, you see the stars, uh, the, the star stone or the star shard in your pocket begins to vibrate a little bit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hold on. I, I think I'm getting a call. Hold on, I got call a call. Call me on your cell phone. <laughs> call me on your uh, cell as, phone. As as it uh as it as you take it out and kind of like look at it, it's pulling you into the circle. Oh shit! Hey. <laughs> and uh, the stone attaches to one of the circles in the magical circle. Ooh, I don't know what that did, but it sounds pretty cool. Wait, you don't even know? All the stone. It might connect I was, I mean, I was to the. Look at that. It might connect to the stars or something. Maybe. Oh, I, got an idea. I got an idea. Wait, wait. Uh, Scurvy's gonna run downstairs. Okay. Scurvy's gonna run downstairs and uh, grab the crate of the rest of like all the other gems. All right. Oh no. He's just gonna grab as many as he can, and he's just gonna run back. Roll me another D one hundred. Let the one go. <laughs> oh, Scurvy, what are you doing? Roll another one. Okay, thank God. Uh, <laughs> you, you only uh, you, you find you find a couple of gems and you find about ten copper pieces, ten copper gold pieces. Okay, I'll keep those and then uh, just all the gems that I grab, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna toss them at the circle. You As throw them at the circle. Hey, don't yeah. throw gems at me, please. <laughs> That's not oh. really nice. So, sorry, I thought I thought I would do something. But what I think you just did was, hmm, 
If you find more of those special stones, perhaps you can attach them to the magical circle. Were, were these okay. stones not special? They are special, but they're not the special kind of special that we need for this special kind of special circumstance. <laughs> hey, they look exactly like the one Kobu or Amir had. I don't know what you're talking who's about. Who's Kobu? Yeah, but they don't <laughs> yeah, who's that? Point of chaos. We gotta find all the stones oh, to yeah. like cherries. Yeah, you yeah, gotta find like the stones like to infinity and beyond. <laughs> I haven't smelled anything in six years. That oh, sounds God. bad. Did you get that uh, check like by spirit? a doctor? Is that like a sinuses problem or? I I don't know. You should probably talk to a physician about that. A what? You know, like a like, like a doc. A what? A medic. <laughs> <laughs> a what? That, uh, that understands your bodily functions. Oh. Alright, that one got through to him. <laughs> yeah, eventually, I guess. But okay, well, I guess I guess I'll find more of these. Well, no, I'll definitely find more of these stones. I can give you something. Like a map for the stones? Yeah, I can give you something. As uh, he will, um, the static will place a hand out towards Amir, and it'll begin to glow with uh. A little bit of black, a black orb will form in the palm of his hand, and he will hand it out to you. Consume the orb. Consume, the orb. Consume it. Yeah. Eat it. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, but like, is are you sure this is this is safe, right? Like, I mean, I I, I don't want to just put a, probably. Put a ball in my mouth, but... okay. I'll eat it if you don't want to. I think the weird black orb missing one arm mass that came out of the the red circle i think it's pretty trustworthy he's got nice <laughs> pants yeah and i mean look if if it gets us closer to the like to getting through there i, I sure why not and he'll just gingerly bring it up and just kind of like close his mouth around it all right as you eat it it surprisingly doesn't taste terrible it tastes like Cherry. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, tastes like cherry. <laughs> it has like the layers of cabbage, but tastes like chocolate. So it's like you're eating oh. like a chocolate flower. You know, ours actually pretty good. And uh, when you swallow it, the magic will kind of like disappear as soon as it like gets into your stomach, and you'll feel electricity begin to shoot up and down your body. And uh. You don't feel any pain from it, just kind of like a numbing sensation. A little steam comes off. The two of you would notice that uh, on his snout, there is the symbol of a uh, static uh, bolt, like Harry Potter, Harry Potter electric bolt. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I, I kind of feel... Yeah, you got something on your face now. Oh, sorry, is it... Did it... <laughs> no, no, like, uh... He's gonna quickly uh, take out a paintbrush and just paint how it looks on the ground. You got that symboled on your face now. Oh, what? What does that mean? I, I mean, I didn't know it was gonna give me a tattoo. Aww. Yeah, you know, I got plenty, you know, gotta say it looks pretty fresh, not gonna lie. I mean, thank you, but I, I, I don't know if I'm ready for it yet. <laughs> you know? uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And at that moment, uh, the tattoo disappears as you say you don't want it <laughs> ah, yeah. oh shit oh no oh it looks like the tattoo can come back whenever you want it so it doesn't ruin your beautiful face <laughs> oh, oh okay yeah do so you want it great. back no 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 i i mean if i can do it whenever i'll i'll just i'll bring it out whenever you have been yeah. marked Perhaps in the future you can gain benefits. Maybe I could be a war. Maybe I could be a patron or something. Who knows? Or not. Nah, you don't have to. 
and you gain one point okay. of the uh, of the warlock aspirant. Oh! Yes, nice. You got it. I will add that to your background. I'm the static. I love this fucker. I, can I can I quickly like say how much I love this fucker and I couldn't even recognize his own damn theme? I'm so upset with myself. Hmm. I love this bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he just busts He's out the, the Kanye. <laughs> In the night, I'm feeling strong, cold as storm. I'm gonna get DM shit. Fuck. <laughs> I love this motherfucker because he breaks the fourth wall constantly. Yeah. Are you trying to flank me? Unfortunately, we don't have that rule here. Ah oh, shit. No, man. Just kind of checking you out. You know, you got a got a funky look. Just you know, taking a. Take it again. I do look That's pretty cool. Say. You could use it for your uh, special art. My special arm? What do you What do you mean my art special art? With a T. Oh, art. Got it, got it, mate. Uh, can, I have, can I have a feather? You want a feather? Sure thing. Yeah. As he uh, oh. as he will pluck a feather and give it to you. The feather is. Oh, how do I explain it? Um, so you know, uh, you know, like the the matrix where like numbers are kind of like floating horizontally and they're like scrolling off the screen, like one of those kinds yeah. of screensavers. It has that, but instead of numbers, it is just random, random symbols that make no sense to you. Okay, so it just looks like a Valorant skin. Is that what you're telling me? I never played Valorant. I probably never will. But yes, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Where, where? Okay. This is this is the most colorful thing I've ever owned. Thank you. That feather can be used in some pretty strong chemical arrangements if you want to make something pretty cool or keep it for yourself. What kind of chemicals? Oh, all, yeah. the, all that I know is it's strong alchemically. It gives you the rare glitch magic. Can we get more? If like, well, I mean, I don't want like, like without like hurting your wings or anything. Um, yeah. I'm gonna gesture to one of these chests. Can you fill one of those chests with, with your feathers? Nah. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Um, it's kind of like a one of a kind item. So use it sparingly. So, uh, you want to play some cards? We got a table downstairs. We got some <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like, after all of this, I, yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, we could... We can introduce you, know, we you could... to the others, you know? Want to hang yeah. out, play Monopoly? You and... <laughs> seem like a fine swallow, you know? Doris gets just downstairs the whole time shuffling the deck. Unfortunately, I probably can't. But what I can do is this. As they will snap their finger and the whole area will begin to be removed of any dirt, broken glass, or anything that can harm you. And it will uh, it will begin to turn itself back into um, a normal junction. Instead of the gondola here, it will be a pathway to the uh, to the magic circle when it's uh, when it's finally repaired. Oh. Yo, so Nan, guess what? Trouble. Gotta redraw the map. No, it's it's the it's the, the whole area. So the whole area pretty much got repaired to pristine condition. I'm gonna get a call for yelling fuck that loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, there was so much cool junk around. I mean, I you gotta get that nice. broken glass. You got a whole city of junk. You don't have to worry. So, like, do you just wipe it from existence, or do you send all the junk somewhere? Oh, I send it into space, because that's probably ethical. <laughs> well, no, you know, but, you know, it's actually quite dangerous. You can cause something called the Kessler Syndrome. What the fuck's a Kessler? <laughs> Good question. Do I now cause a Kugel Blitz? <laughs> what? A Kugel Blitz. That sounds delicious. It is. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I 
do you guys understand why I love him as an NPC so much? Yeah, yeah, he's cool. cool. I love him. So, how's the weather? <laughs> hey, you know, it's, uh, it's so-so, you know? A bit windy, a bit chilly. All right. Yeah, I wish it was colder. I'm bad at small talk. Goodbye. Thank you for the tattoo. As they will, uh, I mean, they, they will teleport wait. away. Oh man, I didn't get anything. I mean, I'm, I, I'm sorry about that. I mean, I didn't really know that. Hey. Is... Oh hey. I can do something pretty cool if you want. Yeah, no, man. Let's go. You sure? Yeah, why not? You only live once, you know? Well, Alright. Right. You only live kind of ten, ten times. Alright, give me give me a con saving throw. Let's go. What's gonna happen? Who knows? Oh my yes, sir. God. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh boy. Watch, I roll two ones. And the okay. D100. Okay, not too bad. I'm about to get sick. Oh, the glitch is infecting your system. You're gonna become malware. Oh what? no! As a, uh, as, oh, as a, uh, his hand, uh, his broken hand, kind of like is pointed into your direction, and these vertical black or these these horizontal black lines begin shooting out towards you, Toa, and they they strike you in the body, but they don't like they don't. They don't like cause any damage or you to like shock your or like move your back, uh, jolt your jolt your body back. But uh, what they do is they go through you and they begin to almost pump code into your body. You don't feel anything at first, but then you feel your horn. Zero one zero one zero one. You feel your zero horn one. begin to move. <laughs> what? As that your horn way worse than the orb. Your horn your horn becomes a living being as a, as an eye similar to the statics uh, appearance forms. Uh, roll, uh, which horn do you want it to be? Right or left? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Let me flip a coin on it. Alrighty. Grab a wallet. Easy. <laughs> uh, Alright. On this episode, Static and Heads, heads left, uh, tails right. Tails, so right. Ooh, you uh -huh. got tails. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> what's an on? Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh god. Oh my it's god. Alvin. Oh, it's no. Calvin. Calvin, no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you yeah, got I'm the fire octave. Oh no. Recalibrating. Uh, uh -oh. what just what just happened? So, uh what so happened was uh, Toa's, Toa, Toa's horn pretty much just became a virus, <laughs> and, and, and it, form, it formed, it formed, uh, like it formed its own living entity as it begins to kind of move, like uh, like Parasite the anime. Have you ever seen it, <laughs> where a you living know, entity is just formed where his horn is? You've got a, you've got a Bitcoin miner inside of you. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Hey, look, I He's know that we were. Uh, I know that we were talking a lot. You know about how Scribby should go see someone, but I I, th I think you should. I think you're kind of higher priority now at this point. Oh no, I'm a right click victim. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wait 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 wait. Uh, uh, the voice box. Jack looking for his. Hey own. look, there's a little me on your horn. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no! Is this working? No! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh yes! Oh my god! I got a thing on my horn! Ooh. Wait, wait, I think this is... No, that's... I'm trying to figure out what you have. I just have hard to... No, I'll roll with this. Oh no! Something's up with my horn. Oh no, it wasn't on. Oh, there we go. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. <laughs> as, uh, as your horn begins spouting out code, uh, <laughs> the eye kind of like blinks and it looks, it like moves its eye up towards the tip of the horn so it can look down at you. You kind of like, you, you, you didn't feel anything at first, but then as the eye moves up, it, it's almost like, um, oh. 
it's almost like you feel pressure beginning to move up to the top of your horn as you look up and you see your horn looking down at you. You ever have like really bad horse cramps and you can see that... your muscles cramping? Oh yeah, Mr. Mm. Static. Yeah. What's this then? Oh, uh, it's a little me on your horn. Did, did you just give birth in my in my horn? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! That's a bad implication. What? I don't know, oh, man. Yeah, Does this make me a daddy or a mama? You're whatever you wanna be. <laughs> Think yeah, of it so as I'm, a I'm, symbiotic I'm... being, but not the Alakai. Fuck them. You know what? I'm happy with the yeah, tattoo. So can uh, can your baby talk? Uh, probably not. Just think of it as like a way for me to see what you can see and potentially give you guidance. Well, that that feels a bit like an invasion of privacy. Like, uh, what if I'm doing something private? You know? You can just <laughs> tell the eye to close, and the eye will close. What if he takes a peek, you know? How can I know I can trust this eye? <laughs> it's me. I don't want to see that anyway. <laughs> Insight check. Insight. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> what? Please. Gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Amir's just fucking gone. Uh oh, oh fuck, he's what? gone. Oh, uh, Mir just phased out of existence. <laughs> oh no, he's fell into the back rooms. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, oh, I fucking no clips? It's, it's, it's funny. No you, clip. It's funny you mentioned that because the back rooms are actually canon. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. he's actually speed running right now. He's going through the walls. Somewhere in the void, there exists a back rooms that just is there, and it's just rooms of old worlds. You can go into like. Uh, uh, you can go into uh, Adwin's tavern, <laughs> and it's one of the levels. <laughs> Only Jack will understand that. I do. Mm. There's just a bunch of fucking people note uh, like T posing. <laughs> you, you get to the room where it's like the game developer just put all the hidden shit in, in on the like the it's far like, corner of the map. Oh, it's, it's like, like the orange uh, fucking box textures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining like uh, the secret fucking ending to Silent Hill with the the dog controlling everything. What? Uh, you never seen that? <laughs> you never seen the it, dog ending? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. I'd like to roll acrobatics to uh, BLJ up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we? Alright. Speedrun strats. <laughs> Do it down the stairs. Okay, uh, the static will begin to uh, phase out of existence <laughs> as uh, he will give you I'm gonna dab Woo! as he disappears. Oh my god. Uh, the circle now oh, is. Geez. The circle now has fixed and is teleported uh, or disappears away as it disintegrates into code. And it oh. appears now. Uh, now, the, now the Oni has to give, a, give us money. I should have asked if I have to feed this thing. That was Ow. wild. Eh. So what do we do now? <laughs> um, I mean, there's another magic circle in the corner. Yeah, we can move those boxes and, and check roll one, roll one, roll one, roll one. <laughs> Should probably let Eko do what uh, she wants to do. Yeah. Uh, what's what's Eko like doing with uh, Garanta? All right. Uh, Eko. I turn off static now. Eko is essentially like uh, leaning over. And, uh, looking at Garanta. So, you had a big city education? <laughs> I like to think I, I worked with, um... I worked with some pretty cool people in my day. In my day, I'm still in my day. I don't oh! Know. <laughs> so you're still having big city education? <laughs> yeah, I'm still having big city education. Do you want a big city education? Yes, I do want a big city education. <laughs> I know a lot of people who want big city education. Really? Well, my entire family would want one, so they sent me here to get some big city education. 
Oh, that's very good. My mother hated big city education, but I said I'm going to have big city education anyway because it's my passion. Yes, I mean, I did learn a couple of things outside the big city, but I hear you can learn a lot from here. <laughs> it, it helps having a change of scenery that helps uh, give you a new state of mind, helps you learn new things. Yes, yes. Uh, I learned about all I know from Baba, so... She doesn't really have anything else to teach me. Who's Baba? Is Baba... Oh, is that oh. is that your grandmother? Yes, that is my grandmother. Uh, do you want to see what she looks like? <laughs> sure. Alright, as Echo is going to morph her face to look like her grandmother. <laughs> oh, okay. Just this wrinkly old woman. Um, oh. Like, I, her clothes remain the same, but... I can count the individual wrinkles on their face. 80 of them. Yes, A yes, lot. Baba used to look like this. She told me always, Echo, don't eat things off the ground. And then I stopped. <laughs> I mean, that's probably pretty smart. Eating things off the ground is kind of gross. Did you know that if you leave two windows open at the same time, it's really bad for you? <laughs> Did you know that if you do not... Fix the covers on your bed every night? You'll have cold feet? <gasps> right? Yes! <laughs> Anyhow, I'm told you can teach me some big city stuff then. <laughs> oh, do you want to learn magic? Um, sure. Ha! Good, good. I taught I taught that um I taught that Amir fellow a little bit of magic, but here, let me let me come here, come here. As uh as Garanta will step up and take you into the corner of the room. Okay. Oh no, the corner. Which corner? Oh, uh, into the center of the room, sorry. Oh, okay. Yep. So, imagine magic like these three carpets. There are three individual schools. There are more, but for now we'll just focus on these. And they are all, they are all their own distinct types of magic. But what, what do you notice about the three carpets here? Hmm... Well, they're all different colors. Mm-hmm. What does that symbolize? They're different... Mm. Correct. They're different. They're different they're, from yes, one another. they're different. Okay. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> also, what else? What else is different? Oh, well, that one there is a square. These two are circles. And mm -hmm. that one... This one we're standing on has all these, like, things on it. Okay. What could that symbolize? Uh, different, uh, they're complex in different yes. ways. It could mean that this one here, because it has more designs on it, was harder to make, and therefore is a harder source of magic to use. And because oh. this one is a square, it could be a little bit simpler. You know, it's easier to square draw a square than it is to draw a circle and then this one has a little pattern on it so maybe it's a little more diverse and also oh, notice how they're overlapping so maybe the three magical sources are all linked together but they don't and know you can you can mix them maybe mm-hmm good good you're, you're picking up now let me tell you what these actually symbolize minor illusion this carpet here the oh, square cool. is the magic of the elements. We call this oh. primal arcana. It was the oldest form of language, uh, the oldest form of language and magic that we had in the world. Do you know how Riki would move Earth with her fingers? Um. Well, is it with that? <laughs> yes, she is manipulating the element itself and moving the Earth with her fingers. That oh. draws back to Primal Arcana, where you have to physically use the element to move it. You can see some people dipping their hands in stone and making stone fists. Elemental magic isn't really used today, but it has roots in Runic Arcana. This is what my old teacher used to teach me. I didn't really catch on to the runes, personally. Why isn't it used today? Well, it fell out to the... It fell out to the next form of magic as uh, Garanta will move into this category. Huh? 
This is traditional arcana, the arcana that we use today. The wizards with their giant spell books, druids who require nature itself, warlocks who require power from a patron, a deity of some kind. It is magic that has flourished into its own branches of the tree, our own designs in the rug. And there are tears here and there, which means that more can be uncovered. Perhaps more leaves left to be desired. People can create their own type of magic. Wow, did you make these tears for this analogy? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I have that kind of mind where things kind of just come up like this pretty quickly. Oh, okay. And um, my old professor used to use a similar analogy of rugs and, and circles together, like a giant Venn diagram. Mm. And they will move into this final rug. Now, this rug is the most intricate, and that is because this is the law magic, or we call them shades. Now, shades are unorthodox colors. They are adjacent to colors. Uh, colors you would know, like yellow, blue, red, but they all take different forms. So maroon, cobalt, amber, jade, and black and white. They're all colors that you see, but you don't really see. And they, those colors have magic behind them. And they're each their own laws in the world. You can't have one without the other. You can't have time without space. You can't have order without chaos. You can't have life without death. Ah, right. And because of all these or unique and ornate patterns you can see within the carpet, this is the most complex magic source to use. Some cannot use it their entire lives. Some only learn in key moments when their life depends on it. And others, well, others become masters. Wow. <laughs> that is very interesting. <laughs> Roll me a d100. Okay. Uh, Where again do I roll? Uh, slash, slash roll 1d100. Yes. Okay. Uh, 48. Go. You gain proficiency in the arcana skill ah as mm, garanta mm. teaches i already clicked it as garanta no. teaches you no. about magic and everything that happens it's always you know you go you, you know i think i understand a bit of this now thank you <laughs> sometimes the magic can be very confusing and there are purposefully gaps within the carpets because there's always something underneath. Perhaps there's a hidden trap door that can unlock more magic. Really? <laughs> but who knows? Is that your destiny to find that out? Find a new source of magic that only you know about? I wonder hmm. if there's something such as circus magic. <laughs> Ooh, now you're thinking. You're thinking out of the rug. You're thinking under yes, the rug. Yes, I am. I always think outside of the rug, I think. <laughs> well, you're on the rug right now. Oh, right. I should get off the rug so I can think outside it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if you come back next time, I can, I can teach you more physical practices. It's not often that I get to teach people about the fundamentals of magic because I'm just a fucking bard who listens to me. Well, I would like to listen to some of your music. <laughs> Ooh, I actually don't play music. You don't? I make clothing. Ah, oh, right. You did make the clothing. That is my form of art. You see, bards, they, they will gesture to themselves. They, their music, their power is, uh, and he will step onto the red rug. Our power is given to us by the arts and a specific artistic art form that we subscribe ourselves to, towards. I make clothing and I imbue my, uh, I imbue my clothing with magic. Someone mm. else might use a harp. 
someone else might beatbox. I've seen that pretty commonly. <laughs> yeah. Where is the rapper? I played a harpsichord while I was in the circus once. <laughs> you will nod in respect. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's an interesting instrument. I don't know if I can find it in the big city, but maybe. I mean, I'm sure you can find many things here. Mm -hmm. Many things I don't know about. Many things, many things. That's what the city's for. You can find a lot of things. Yes. So many new faces to see. So many people to find. So many world buildings! <laughs> and so many chances for a big city. Education! Education! <laughs> 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 As he will nod and he will give you a smile. Uh, pick one mental attribute of your choice. Okay. Intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. Hmm. I think. You know what? I'm getting that big city education. Might as well give int. <laughs> All right. Your intelligence is increased to eleven. Nice. As there was a random rooster crow in the middle of nowhere. We go back up <laughs> to the top floor. What are you three doing? You're going to the other magic circle? Oh no. You know, we move these boxes out of the way, it might be another. Oh, I think you're standing on Scribbly. Oh shit. Yeah, you gotta watch your step, man. Oh shit. I'm sorry. A goblin. <laughs> oh, he's eating right now? All right, let's go over to the three of these, these three over here. The three oh, amigos. What the fuck? Who took my cards? <sighs> Could have been any of them. Those were collector's edition. Did you see the Joker? It had a dollar's face on. <laughs> Never mind. Teach <laughs> <laughs> cards. Um, uh, Ricky's gonna like look over to Terrace and. And these two, well, these two both. So, how have things like been for you guys since you left? I mean, I know you got this place, but anything like anything super difficult or? Been working part time down at the docks. We've been doing our, uh, we've been working in paint factories. Garant has been trying to make a living with clothing, and uh, Furuma, well, he's been to jail a couple of times. <laughs> uh. Uh, would we have had to like break him out, or has he been like? Uh, he he's he he serves his sentence. Uh, he's okay. not the kind of person to try and break out because he gets caught, and he actually kind of likes getting caught. So uh, oh. he gets captured, and then he waits his sentence. Usually, it's like petty thievery, so it's only a couple of days. I'm just like curious what it's like to kind of be on your own away from the sanctuary. Well, it's, your free time definitely goes away. It's not all sunshine and roses. Mm -hmm. Neither have you been out of the city? Not yet. Don't feel any need to. Mm -hmm. You see, she's like, uh... She's like holding the, the snake earring she has. Like in one hand, like she's taking it out and she's just staring at it. Uh, how old are you guys anyways? I haven't I'm been... Four, I'm 14 back. now. Oh, I was gonna yeah. take the rest of the family out to the, uh, the Siren's Call for a few drinks, but I don't know if they'll serve me if I, uh, got you guys with me. Ah, uh, they're a little young for that. But knowing Toa, he would probably steal a drink anyway. Yeah. Oh, uh, I wonder who it, uh, if it was the Chai, was the giant elves. Uh, as he kind of has his hands on the table and he's just thinking about what happened to Ophelia. Oh, God, bad timing. Well, well, <laughs> we'll find who did it. You two don't need to worry. Well, our... I feel like I do, to be frank. Why? 
<laughs> I can't laugh. She, she stares at him for a moment and then just gestures to her horns. Oh, I thought it was another reason. Well, all that and yeah. She's just like debating on whether or not to say something. <laughs> it's just I try to avoid it, but you know, you know that I've been beat up on the street multiple times from people wanting to take my horns. Yeah, I have to knock a couple of skulls. Were these the some of the same people that? started the brawl Miss Ophelia got caught in. It okay. might have. Might have also been T'Chai who wanted to take things back. There's a. There's always been tensions between elves and T'Chai ever since the elves took their home away in the Ravenna Forest. Long ago. But grudges die hard. They take a long time to die. So, I doubt that it's going to be solved anytime soon. And good people just get caught in the tro in the crossfire. I've never met another person. I've never met a person from the forest. There are many of those here. I don't think there are many from the forest. The forest is kind of suffering right now. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Some bad reports, fires, pest invasions, shadows. I'm not sure it's the safest place for you to be right now, Riki. I know that. I Maybe instead of the forest, we can safer. Maybe instead of the forest, we can uh, go to the high seas. There's lots of islands out there. I'm... I'm not really into the whole water thing. Oh, what? Miss Ophelia never taught you how to swim? Mm, yeah. <laughs> she, like, rubs the back of her neck nervously. Oh, I'm sure someone around there can show you. You never got your swimmer's legs? No. Hmm. Uh, who at the security would would have uh, been the, the person to teach all the kids how to uh, something kind of like that? Um, probably Osgorth. Oh, okay. Osgorth would take you guys down to the beach. This was this was back when you were young, so it was uh, probably a couple of years before everyone before everyone else in the campaign got inducted in, unless you were in there when you were a child. Uh, yeah, he was dropped off when he was only like a baby. Mm -hmm. So you've seen a lot of kids come and go and Osgorth in the olden days back when times were a little bit safer He would take you to the he would take you to the beach. You guys could catch uh, crimson crabs together Okay uh, then, Yeah, I never learned I um Also to be fair, I did try to run away every time they made me do something like that so. Gotta stop running away. Mm. Look, I know you don't like it. You don't. You never did. I can tell. You you don't want to be here, but I think this place is the safest place you're gonna get, especially with people like Amanya and Ophelia around. You don't want to turn out like my little brother. You don't want to turn out like Aruma, do you? No. I just... It feels like I'm missing something. Something I'm supposed to be a part of and I can't because I'm here, stuck in one place. The sanctuary doesn't... It's never felt like home. No matter how much Ophelia tried to make it comfortable for me by giving me all that foresty stuff or... However many times Amanya took me to the garden, just feels more like it's more like you know, dangling it in my face and making me feel better about it, you know? Well, maybe when you get to my age, once you're out of there, you start finding a place for yourself. Heck, I've only been gone for maybe a year and 
I'm still finding myself as well. We've been out Maybe. for three, and it's been tough. It's, uh... Ophelia is the kind of person to... She wants to make sure you succeed even after you're at the sanctuary. So I'm sure she'll try to help you in any way you can if you want to go to the Ravenna. Or find that other missing half, and perhaps your other missing half is in the city. Never know. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do. I can't I can't really make a decision until I just until I'm older, so I kinda just have to stay here figure it out. Well, you bide your time and make the most out of it. You know these kids are your brothers and sisters. I have to treat them as such. Yeah. If there's one thing we know better than everyone else, is that you don't get a lot of family members. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever... Whatever blood family I have is probably long gone. I told you about my mother, right? Probably a while ago. She, like, rubs her head trying to think back. My brother, my brother's a human, my other brother's an elf, and my, I am a half-dragonborn. My mom's been around a lot. She wasn't the best mother either. She got hit with some hard, hard times. Not all family members are the best. But you make the most of what you got, and I would die for my brothers any day of the week and the weekend. I do a lot to help everyone here. Heck, and... I don't even know if my brother's still alive. It's you guys I care about. And you know? And he's like, she looks a little sad and she just goes up and gives both of them a hug. He'll like pat you on the back. You know, I'm sure Ophelia and Amanya would help if you helped around the house a little bit. Yeah. Maybe I'll go help Amanya in the garden some more. There you go. Yeah, that's actually something I want to do also because this... A lady gave me a pendant and I feel like if I put it near plants more, it might do something. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. If I put this bat near people, sometimes they fall down to the ground. <laughs> Apparently if I, uh... If I jump at people, I can... You can knock them in the walls. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wall will have a dent. Wait, wait a minute. What happened to the floor? Oh, wow, look. Everything's completely different. Mm -hmm. as, they, as you all look around and you see that the, uh, the junction is completely different. It is spotless. All the crates have been yeah. fixed. Everything which was once dirty has been completely cleaned. And it looks like a, it looks like a completely different place. Even the dimensions of the building might be changed a little bit, you know, Nan. If you want to. Okay, I'm. I get it. I need to explain. <laughs> you, want, you, want, you, you want to change the dimensions of the building a little bit, you know? You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, when I have free time, okay. How did I not notice? That? How? What? How did I not did notice? Did they do it? something? Oh. It... oh. Maybe they got that magic circle up and running. Let's go check. Oh, I took a stone from that. And she like it holds like a piece of it up as they're walking. Beep, 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 beep. Transition. Yo, what the Nailed fuck it. did you do? Yeah, yeah honestly, yeah. if we if just listen, trying if we to get push this, this one. box up. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Hi, fellas. Doing? What did you do? What is that on your head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, so what happened? Uh, so that circle, we, uh, we've actually in fa fixed it on first try. Kind of amazing. Uh, so then big, big fella, uh, angel looking fella with, uh, missing an arm. And he's all hat, all black with little black squares floating off him. Yeah, so he came Amazing out. pants. Amazing oh, pants. Oh, yeah. Really, really interesting pants. Never seen anything like it. Very form-fitting and athletic. Um, anyway, so, uh. He uh, he gave uh, Amir here. He gave him uh, uh, some magic chocolate. Yeah, and now uh, show him the thing. Show him the thing. Uh, for okay, I Why? sure. And he's gonna try to like. You can see that he's like 
he, he'll kind of try really hard to get the tattoo to form again. Okay. The tattoo will form at the spat at the end of your nose. Yeah. You see it? Well, okay, but what is that? What is yeah, that? no. Uh, so like, yeah, uh, he, uh, I guess, uh, gave birth at my horn. What? <laughs> yeah. So now this, uh, this thing he describes as a symbiotic relationship, and uh, my horn's alive now. You can see its eyeball, just there. Did the guy just give you a fucking tumor? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, it's a little morally gray, but honestly, I mean, I I, I think we're okay with Oh, there's the favorite of your phrase, morally gray. Yeah, no, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it's a bit strange, but you know, it's all good. Faruma, did you give them your wild magic cigarettes again? No, I fucking didn't. What the fuck? Wait, where are my cigarettes? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Did I leave them at the it'll, shop again? And it'll screw me there. He, uh... He Kirby goes. jumps out the window and starts bolting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he got a magic feather. Uh, but anyway, when the guy when the guy went on and dipped, uh, he fixed everything. So uh, this oh. whole place works now. I think the gondola uh. even moves now. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, he, I, I think he's like a train conductor because he said that portal leads to a train. But uh, something about being. What is a train? Good question. He. he I don't know. Well, it looks like you did get the magic circle working because it's not there anymore. So I guess you did the job right. Yeah, no, I'm <sighs> sensitive about being the level one in order to use it. I don't know what that means, though. Well, we're on level two. Are the uh, gondola controls fixed? Maybe we uh, have to, like, the gondola minutes. controls aren't <laughs> fixed, but they are, in fact, um, hmm, how would that work? They can when, be fixed now. Like they don't have a charge? Uh, no, because technically the line to the gondola doesn't exist anymore. So, uh, okay. uh, they do work still, but what happens now is whenever you use the, whenever you use the gondola controls, the gondola will take you to the prismatic train. Is how we'll rule it. Oh. Oh. We unlocked like fast yeah. travel, gang! But, level uh, one. but you have to be level one to use it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Fuck no, but uh, overall, I'd say, you know, that was a pretty Skox experience. So now we're trying to move these boxes to see about this other circle to see. Uh, well, maybe we can I, meet I, another I feel fella. like you've done Tawa? enough. Tawa, relax. Yeah. Let me oh, give you your reward first. As uh, he will take. Oh, oh, I moved everyone. As he will move <laughs> forward and he will give uh, Amir a pouch full of 20 gold. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Consider that a thank you for getting it fixed and cleaning up the place at the same time. Oh, well. thanks, Mike. All right, so let me. Uh, do you do you guys want to share your money? Do it separately. I think we. I think we should because right. it's just easier. I, I would like to share the money. Who, who would like to be okay. party accountant? Party accountant. Not it. Nah. Got it. I've done it once, never again. How much money did we get? You got 20 gold, and I think uh, Scribbly got 10 copper pieces. I entirely forgot to write that down. Yeah. Scribby, Scribby. So you got a one gold piece? Yep. No, no, no. One gold. silver piece. 10 one copper. It, it's 10, oh, 10, yeah. 10, 10. If, if you are a heretic and use Electrum, I think it's like seven. Gold yeah. pieces to make one. We don't use Electrum here. Ah! We put that in weapons. Thank you. It's a reference no one will get. Hmm. There you go. So, yeah. All right. And at this point, uh, Osgorth will kind of call up. All right, kids. It's getting a little late. Let us uh, start getting back home. All right. All right. Okay. Also, tell I keep that horn eye thing closed when you're near me. Okay, I don't want any of that. Well, it's it's a whole other being, you know. I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't know. Keep control of your weird horn pet. What were you up to today? Hey, I'm, here. I'm here. Um, I kicked Tomoko in the face. I'm nice. running up a wall. 
I learned what What's magic up? is. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, he will hand you an additional five more gold pieces. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. Why, why didn't you... Why did you hand these... Because I'm, get, I'm giving it to you personally. I know how much you like books. So buy yourself some nice books. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Uh, keep away from this hole. He got like As a uh, he will make his way downstairs. Oh no, does he have cancer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. My oh. baba said that her, I think his sister got cancer when she was very young. She died. <laughs> oh damn. Okay. It's sad. Yeah, no, you know. You know he he seems like a swell fella. He only has an eye, so I don't I don't know how much he can do. Is he evil? <laughs> Ricky's going to walk up to Tersk. Uh are you staying with them still? You you have to, you have to stay with them because you're 18, but pretty much at the start of your session, at the start of the session you'll be making your way over there. Because uh, uh, what's going to happen essentially is Ophelia is going to talk with Osgorth by keeping you there as a personal guard. Just to make sure there's some eyes there at all times. Do all of you still have to stay here? We have to. They need more room for younger ones. There's always new orphans coming in and out of the place. Okay. Especially since it's fixed now, you know. Won't be as bad to live here. I mean, I bet it'll be perfect. Maybe, um, uh, maybe you all can make, uh, make some houses here or something. You have a lot of land, actually. You have, uh, you have the house? <laughs> have a look. Have a look at here. Where do you think they come from? You have some, uh, you have... I don't know. <laughs> you have, uh, some abandoned terraces that perhaps could be used for, uh, some. Amp giving me more work. <laughs> I can be the one that makes the walls. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what building is. Why do you think we could rent it out? I'm oh, sure people are looking for places to stay. We can make this an inn, you know, get some uh, money flowing in. Uh, <laughs> money flowing in. Oh, the second you guys oh, mentioned it. In, in. <laughs> the second you guys mentioned that, Tur starts getting an idea to turn it into like a tea shop or a coffee shop. Ooh. <laughs> Unironically, let's fucking do that, please. Yeah. Can we do that? Rather, cool. like rather than get jobs, you make your own five head. Mmm. Mm. Just you make could the sell job. Your food if you make an <laughs> inn. You could sell your food there. I would love to build a great big theater. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh yeah, you can like. We can have Echo here. You know, put put some shows on. Be entertainment. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know, maybe. Um, you know, we have that that old gondola line. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe you can, uh, we can use it as like a tightrope. It would be a great way to meet some people, gain some contacts. Well, I need to brush up on my tightroping. <laughs> you know, we could use Cerebro over there, the snake charmer bit. Yes. Yes, I could charm the snake, though it is already charmed. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> as you guys begin walking off, the ideas begin uh, fluttering through the back of your head. As uh, we we pan forward, as Faruma's just oh, where the fuck he's patting his patting his pockets. Where the fuck did I leave him? Hey, uh, hey, hey, Faruma. Um, oh, hello, Squibby. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, f I feel really bad about. Th I took your cigarettes. Um. Oh no, I'm fucking with you. I knew you took them. Oh. I'll take them back. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't want you getting. <laughs> I don't want you getting addicted to this stuff. It's bad. Can, can I keep one? No. Oh. Bad. It's bad news, and I don't want a little kid like you again hit a hit with them. Fine. As uh, you see him light a cigarette, and it blows <laughs> up in his face. <laughs> oh yeah, the arcane nicotine. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That man just cast fireball on himself. <laughs> the Gamba cigarettes. <laughs> as uh, as the ideas begin, uh, as the ideas begin 
formulating in the back of yours heads to make money in this ever evolving city. I think that's where we're gonna theater in. <laughs> real quick, real quick, I'm gonna yeah. say Scribby. Uh, since we don't have a lot of rooms in the sanctuary, if you want, you can bunk with me. I got enough room. Oh, um, sure, yeah, okay, sure. I think you'll like it. There's a lot of little places to hide. Oh, okay, sounds good. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the three brothers as they wave you off with smiles. You guys make your way back to the piercing where we're going to end today's session of Next Generation. Yeah, they're all brothers. They're all brothers. All born to the same My mother. Friend. We have a half, dra <laughs> half dragonborn, a uh, pallid elf, and a human. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. That was a big session. That was a great session. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. Thank oh, you guys for joining. Thank you to the new guys for uh, for joining the session. You guys are you guys are great, and I think you guys fit in really well already. Which is uh, sometimes when you get new people into a, into a bunch of games together, they uh, they still got to learn the dynamics. But I think you guys fit in pretty pretty quickly, and, mm -hmm. uh, which is all yeah. which is always really awesome. Freaky, Eco, and Scrooby. We're gonna be a team. We're gonna be a trio. <laughs> and really taking on the mantle of this trio. Well, that's good. A trio of what though? We'll see. Uh, they'll be your they'll be your shonen this. shonen protagonist uh, and dude protagonists. Yeah, you guys gonna go off on an adventure and me and Amir are gonna open a gateway to hell or some shit. <laughs> oh yeah, we're yeah, we're totally gonna <laughs> expect And and then and they come uh, they come back, they come back like three arcs later, like Guys, remember us with this in-depth backstory we have. I know it's been like eight years, but uh, we need your help. And Tursk is just help. like yeah, the Kakashi of the group who like helps them. He's like their mentor. <laughs> Amir is so happy right now. Yeah, he'd be like the, the mom of the group. He's, he's the one like like like. Oh, yeah, behind Mr. Floppy Ears. He's like the way of the way of the housewife or the house husband. I think it's called. Where he, yeah. He's just like yeah. the super intimidating guy who just like is a house husband. I love it. Because <laughs> right. he always had to double up on chores since he always like had to cover for his little brother who always refused to do his. Mm. We love, we love, we love, we love this. I love this campaign, man. This campaign's great. I love it. Yeah. And, uh, right. it Yo, <laughs> next session, let's go to the fucking sewers this time. Yeah. <laughs> let's kill some uh, fucking rats. You know, I'm excited. I'm happy that I finally got my big city education. You got oh, big city uh, education. Yeah. You got part one. <laughs> Part one, big city education, part one. Life in the big city. <laughs> Life in the big city. I was just a big, uh, I was just a little town gal, and now I'm going to the big city. Now you're big city. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for doing monk shit without being a monk. Monk shit. Listen, I got junk. I'm excited, I got junk. He's got junk. You do, you do have junk. Uh, and with that, I think... Uh, you guys will have your downtime events that you can do and role play out within the sanctuary. Uh, uh so which where's that channel by the way? Uh, so Let if if you go it. over, uh, if you go hey, to I'll... the Alverholt yeah, RP zone, Alverholt. and you can you check the threads. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll add you. You can you can see me. Yeah, I. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Let me just. <laughs> And, uh, and we can help you make tuppers off yeah, screen. Yeah, and they can help you make tuppers because, uh, tuppers. Mm. Tuppers. Yeah, tuppers. I... But, Tupper thank you guys yes. uh, so much uh, for this session. We're going to do a special fireside chat tonight because I don't have Woo! work tomorrow. So I might be able to do something like that. Uh, Yo. So if you come back Woo! in a couple hours, me, Hickey, and Nick... We're gonna be hanging out and just shooting the shit, shooting the well, fireside shit. You actually have a, ga a guest star. Well, you gotta be patient. You gotta savor the. I am in, I am gotta, notoriously impatient. You gotta though. savor the flavor, Nanigans. You know what? You should have, you should have us as your guest, and it'll be.